Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. The best. The best. Broadcasting at 60 right. frames a second and broadcasting with Darcy's. Welcome back. It's been a while. I think it's been like months. Three or four months. <laughs> Last true. time you were on, you were on virtually. That's right. I was. Like, I was in a little box, <laughs> and I corner. was really, quite frankly, a very small bit of that little box because my <laughs> webcam camera is very wide. So you were, you were <laughs> small within room. it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, zero yeah. page puts Darcy in the box. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we played like games remotely. That's right. Through the online emulator, it actually worked pretty good. Um, Darcy's back. Hello. Yes, he is. I've got his name above his. Oh. And mm. Pixel's trying to close the door. So we're going to play four games today. Uh, big mix. Uh, we're going to be playing Radial Pong. Uh, Dark Mage, which is a text adventure. Oh. On the 2600. That's excellent. It is. Very unusual. Because uh, they're because text. to do. Yeah, text. There, there is no wow. built-in yeah. uh, character set. In the 2600, there's nothing built in there. It's no like graphics. text is not less intensive than graphics for the 2600. No, but you have to make like at least 26 graphics, like yeah. 26 characters. And usually in games, there's not even 26 individual characters. Yeah. So it's a little bit more intensive. So it's more intensive, yeah. And yeah. how many char how many things are on the screen on a game? Two, three, huh. four on the most biggest ones? This is like sentences and stuff. So it's a bit of a challenge on the 2600. Uh, we're going to be playing Silhouette as well, and we're trying to get a high score in Galagon, which is uh, the last game in the 2020 Harmony Games. Uh, this is the fourth fourth one, because they um, after the awards are over, they set up all the winners um, for you know everybody to play and try and get a high score. So that is the last of the games, and this is kind of the last-ish day. There's three more days, but... Uh, is the last broadcast day that we can do it. So we're going to try and get, put in some uh, nice scores there. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, of which there are many. They're down this side. We can't see them here, but the magic of television, the magic of video puts them there. There you go. Uh, Alan the Fur, Cafe Man 2D, Captain side, Class A. where my arm is big. <laughs> On the wide angle. Yeah, if you want your... Gotta hide the truth. <laughs> uh Alnifer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalox, C D Dash W, Charles and Chuck, Cold, Heat, 007, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, 1969, Metal Lunar 7, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packer of VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Sir Catleg, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welsh Man 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Oh my god. That is a lot of names. <laughs> and I want to thank them very much for for uh, supporting the show and you can support the show as well and subscribe for free if you uh, link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe like darcy just that's what i recently just did, did yes. like minutes ago minutes ago and because i you, am drexel and then you get <laughs> that's right and then you get little uh uh things beside your name in the chat yeah. and you're able to put cats on the screen oh and that's uh, subscribers get to put this cat oh. and this cat on the screen Wow. And that's the biggest bonus. That is pretty great. Yep, like Captain Classic just did. Um, <laughs> and make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I want to thank everybody for joining us live, including Darcy, is joining us live as well in person. And the D Train, <laughs> Ground Trooper, Captain Classic, Thrust 26, Hey Thomas, Pack Rat VG, Dan ABC, Dianoid. Uh, Alan the Fur, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Smitty B7800, and everybody else who is lurking and not typing, of which there are many usually. Um, so look at this a t shirt. How dare he spoil my gift to him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> spoiled it but it's oh a but it's color. a different shirt a different shirt different and a different shirt. color oh, so it's not that a bad is thing excellent. is it and it's also a different size oh no no it's fine 
What? I'm the large guy. <laughs> is that a medium that you're wearing? Yep. Oh, wow. What did I get? What is this? Oh, this is not even uh, the right shirt. What is this? But it's the same brand. Medium. Medium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is. So, throw Thank it in you. the hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You're much taller than me. Of course I'm going to Oh, I see. Buy a yeah, large. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's normal. I'd... Yeah. But I, yeah. Yeah. yeah but the medium I've... does fit you very well. Yeah, medium is my size. I uh, <laughs> have... Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. And it depends on where you're getting it from and how medium is medium. And uh, I'm a, I'm a medium. Yeah. <laughs> so it depends. I'm a large. Large. <laughs> I'm a tall medium. <laughs> tall. I have ordered yes. tall medium shirts um, from If the gift gives us a mad juice. Is it a mad juice? Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah. It's yeah. pretty joyous to get like a uh, tall medium size because uh, yeah. these, these shirts are great. They're actually long. They are. Some I of like them are the a little short. Ones. And I have this jacket, this orange jacket that I've been wearing for years. Yeah. One of the reasons I'm unwilling to give it up is I got it at uh, Mac Mountain Equipment Co-op. Yeah. And it was tall medium. Yeah. And it's like the sleeves <laughs> are long enough. That's, and it's not this giant bag. That's always the problem yeah. for me is the sleeves. Yeah. Usually this is like fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. And when that's why it's like the sleeves go to there. Yeah. And it's like shirts are impossible to get. Yeah. Jackets are usually a bit better. But shirts, it's just like it's impossible. Well, like for me, t-shirts are medium. But yeah. long sleeve shirts are yeah. maybe a large. Yeah. But if I want the sleeves not to be rolled up, I have to assume it's yeah. like extra large. Yeah. So annoying. Yeah. So annoying. I know we're here to talk about t-shirts today. <laughs> That's right. It's relevant. It's related tangentially to video games. Um, a new version of Pit Cat was released today, five hours ago. Um, let me post, post that in the chat. It it's is an amazing game. Choice. And we did play it on the show a couple episodes ago. Um, so you definitely want to run out and get the new version. Let me just post it for everyone. There you go. Um, so updates: fixed random screen roll on Stellar to Stella developer mode found via my Omega Matrix. Fixed break on Stella developer mode found by Omega Matrix. Fixed random wrong colors in password screens on Stella developer mode by, found by Jamtex. Improvement of screen roll and sync during screen transitions found by everyone. <laughs> Increased visibility of cursor flashing on level select screen found by Andrew Davy. So they still do have um, some screen rolls, but they're working on that. Other than that, it's an unbelievable game. Um, it's like a puzzle game um, where you push boulders and, and do a bunch of stuff. And it's it's incredible for the 2600. And it has like reverse, like go back in time in terms of movements. It's like you make a mistake, but you can rewind. Wow. Yeah. Which, um, and it, which is incredible. That is amazing. Yeah. And they're able to make the game really, really nice looking because they put the code into RAM and they dynamically change the code so that it doesn't need to fetch information from ROM. It's, it just directly inserts it into code. Huh. Instead of going saying, okay, I need to draw this character on the screen at this point instead of going oh what is that character's graphics i'll go retrieve it from there it's like no it says draw this graphics right now because that's the thing that's 2600 it has to draw immediately 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 as the program is executing on the screen it has and to what draw. is normally taking up the ram um everything because on the 2600 there's only 128 bytes of ram yeah. On the most basic level. That's so what are they sacrificing to store that in RAM? Um, they're not because they're using a different um, bank switching scheme that gives them 2K of RAM. Oh, wow. Um, with the same hardware or with additional hardware? The hardware's on the cartridge. Oh, okay. So way back in the day, they would put extra RAM on the cartridge. Right, and right. it's using I remember that now, yeah. um, a bank switching scheme developed by M Network, which was a company that released games. Um, and back in the eighties and, and the, the bank switching scheme they had was 2k of Ram, which is a lot of, a lot, a lot of Ram compared yeah, yeah. to 128 bytes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like a bunch of other banks of ROM. Huh. And so they're able to put the whole code of drawing the screen in Ram and then just change 
the the things that they're going to execute while it's not drawing the screen. So when uh, it comes back to drawing the screen, it's just like draw, 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 draw. Yeah. Huh. So, ah, more pit cat. Yeah, this is one of the developers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's brilliant and it's a really slick game, and that's why I keep mentioning because it it's awesome. Um, and it's absolutely free um, for downloading. They're not going to be putting it on cartridge because it is a a port of a game, a Game Boy game. Oh, okay. And and it's using you know music and graphics and 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 level code from the original game. So it's and it's by a Nintendo. So and they're very right. Litigious. Yeah, they're not gonna, very litigious. They're not going to participate. <laughs> no. So just <laughs> like here it is, put it out. Yeah, it's too hard to do that. Um, so we're gonna get jump right into the games. Not much news. Uh, Radial Pong is the first game, and as we go back in the archives, I'm finding that there are a lot of Pong games. <laughs> well, they're they're fairly easy to make in terms of what the 2600 is capable of, because that's pretty much it on a basic level. Player one, player two, and ball. Yeah, move yeah. ball around the screen. Yeah, like that's how it was. It was designed around Pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pong and the other kind of combat which is just two tanks or two missile, planes yeah, and a yeah. missile going back and forth We're on news there's just i'm gonna mention my sure. books yes. uh Go i finally it. finished them and put them up on amazon uh you know it's just if you if Under you look for name. yeah if you look for darcy tripol and you this find name them. starship relic is the first one they've been out for i don't know a month and a half now yeah yep people are enjoying them Good reviews yeah i keep expecting to get <laughs> dumped on in Roasted. reviews and it keeps not happening um so i you're lucky i think maybe uh i think maybe people like them yeah it's <laughs> good i mean i i, I have it, good reviews too but just yeah because yeah. I, I have my film out yeah on amazon as well yeah. very close close to the same time it was yeah, put yeah. out like uh oh well a week a week ago or just over about two weeks ago um, and yeah, lots of people are watching it and, uh, lots of good reviews. Nice. There's, yeah. uh, some, some terrible people <laughs> that like to voice their, uh, opinions if you on have things a, they don't like. But. If you have a large enough number of people participating, you're always going to get some people that don't like the thing. I mean, if, like, take Harry, fine. take Harry Potter, uh, yeah, like Harry yeah. Potter obviously a massive success but not everybody likes it you know yeah. no it's, yeah if you some get enough, people hate it and, <laughs> and the people who are vocal about things are people who love it mm -hmm. and people who hate things yeah the in-between people are like i'm not going to put any they're not going to say anything <laughs> they don't want to put any effort most people it. won't put anything <laughs> oh hey nathan <laughs> that's funny automod just blocked a message <laughs> Oh, that's weird. I wonder what triggered the message block from Nathan Strum. Nathan Strum said, please check your Atari age private message. I need info to ship your 2600. Yes, I will get hmm. that to you. Maybe it was like info or... I don't know. Um, I think you can allow that. So I'll click allow. Yeah, I guess it... Uh, oh, not right click. That's just I only sick. clicked... I, I see. Oh, on the left. I, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. We permit it. <laughs> permit it. Uh, okay, let's get this going. Get the game up and running. Oh, I can see. I can see the message just showed up on... Uh, oh, the regular chat? No, on your computer oh, on screen. screen over there. The place that... You know when, like, you've noticed, sometimes we do this. <laughs> that's, that's where his computer screen is. You probably figured that out, but, you know, in case you hadn't, that's why you see so much of this side of our faces. Uh, yes. It's not because beforehand we decided oh, which yeah. side was well, better, and we just want to show it off. This is, we can see the chat, and type in the chat over here, we can see what we look like over here. And that's the camera, so there's and, like three different spots. And, and the big when he chat's switches, over here. Yeah, the big chat's right here. And when, when, uh, when he has multiple screens to switch between, we can see both of those over there. Yeah. I know. Behind the scenes, right? Very exciting. <laughs> One day we'll do a proper behind the scenes. Ready. Uh... It would take so much effort. Rotate. <laughs> Rotate. <laughs> yeah. Done. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, somebody did 
to subscribe, Kev Kelly. See, that's what it does. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kev Kelly. You got an emote thanks to Kev Kelly subscription. Oh, thank him. Ah, quick before it runs out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? A little bee? A funny oh, little bee? bee. Yeah, enjoy your there, gift. Now I had to press. Oh, yeah, to. I just say thanks and for. Whew, that's a whole. That's a whole <laughs> additional game. I know, like multiple buttons. To... I can do it. I'm up to the task. Now that I know. Okay. So the first game we're going to be playing is Radial Pong. There we go. Actually work. Is the second controller? Oh. Oh, kind of works. Okay. It's uh, you know what? It's not it's not it it doesn't uh and the button slows it down. It seems oh, to it's be it almost the seems to one. be buttons. Cuz I press the button and mine Do you know rotates. what I mean like it almost seems like um I don't think this is a completed game. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't so have two players to test it. It's not quite a button, because if you just barely, oh. if yeah. you just barely bump it, it goes slower. Yeah. But there's a huge dead zone, and it goes from. Okay, what am I saying here? <laughs> it's, well, that was cool. You're telling it to go. You're not. It's not like the the one with the battles with the castles, where it's like oh. you. It's not positional based. It's like a button. But like the further you put it, it might go quicker. Okay. Yeah. It's like I would acceleration based rather yeah. than positional based. That's right. And yeah. with the with the paddles, I usually like expect positional based. And that's what they're good for. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Yeah. So I don't know. So this was made by Jeffrey Johnson, uh, calamari in the uh, uh -oh. forums. It's first posted June thirtieth, two thousand two. This builds from July twelfth. It's a four K game. Now I'm winning again. It's the only game he's ever made. Uh, you can find this on the uh, Hacks and Homebrews version one point two B ROM pack. Um, it's funny when I go to these old games, um, and you look in the Atari Age forums, you can see Albert posting oh. about these games because he's posting about them from like uh, this Stella mailing list or other places um so he he did most of the posting and announcements of games back in like the early 2000s oh. and he said um jeffrey johnson has announced that he's developing an atari 2600 game called radial pong inspired by and andrew kez zek Kapulka's java based radial pong game imagine a game of pong where each player can move their paddle in a 360 degree circle and you'll know what radial pong is all about Jeffrey has created Radial Pong development page where you can follow the game's progress, view and screenshots, and learn more about the game. And then I was able to find his page using archive.org, because it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, I've been, okay. I've been using that a lot for the old games hmm. um, that aren't on Atari Age, because a lot of people post on their not po didn't post on Atari Age back in the early 2000s said this project was inspired by blah's cool java radio pong game i found out about the game from atari P age pong message board this page will document my progress on the game which may be slow at times during due to work school and other projects and um it looks like the original program allowed him to make the game and his last update was july 12 2002 version 12 paddles move faster push the paddle down paddle button to slow it down um, so it looks like it's not finished. I can move the second. Which one are you moving? You're moving I'm both moving of the them. light one. And when I press the button, it moves, moves both it. of them. <laughs> oh, okay. That's very interesting. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. I think he was still working on it and didn't quite get the controls for both players working quite correctly. He did get the button reading on the second paddle because I'm able to move the purple one with my butt, but I'm not able to move either of them with my paddle. Ah. But this is really interesting because if you look at the paddle shape, mm -hmm. there's nothing built into the 2600 to do that, to do that at all. Hmm. So 
either he has stored all these paddle looks, like the different shapes. Can you reverse something like that? Can you have just one quarter of them and then go, this one flips like this and this one flips like that? Yeah. Can Atari do that? Yeah, so you would only have to make a quarter of them. And then you can flip vertically and flipping horizontally. Flipping horizontally is built in to the 2600. So that's easy. Flipping vertically, would you would just draw it backwards. Like you'd start at the bottom instead of the top. And you draw it down instead of up. Um, which is which is just, it's fine to do. Because you just have to do your counter backwards instead of incrementing. You would de decrement um, which thing you were going to draw first. Um... Or, in, instead of storing it, he could have calculated how it looks. Like, draw a certain length and then move it down. But that's I think that's way more work. Um, you suck. By name, unpronounceable. <laughs> Love how the paddle moves. This could get crazy. I wish... Yeah, I wish this was a fully functional game. Because I played it with the mouse, and I didn't play a second player with the mouse, and I was like, "Oh, it works. You can move the thing around." But the second player, you can't really, you can't really move around. Um, is the source code available? That's a good question. I didn't see that it was. Let me take a look, because if it is, well, actually, this even his web page is down. You can't download stuff from his web page. But I'm gonna look at his web page. Uh, it doesn't say the source code is, and, oh, it links to zip files, which may be just bin files and zip files, but those zip files don't exist anymore. Uh, oh, no, to assemble the sources. The zip files include the source and assembled binaries. So, at one point, so somewhere out there, the, the source might be I'm just be annoyed because you're not doing anything and you keep lucking out and hit, getting <laughs> hit. Hitting it. That's and funny. mine was not being lucky that way. And that's <laughs> not fair. I think this is a good idea. Oh, I hit it did again. it again. How does it... Um... There we go. No! <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> so every time it goes vertically off the screen, the other person gets a point. So you know you're getting points because it's yep. colored. Whenever it leaves your the screen, color. if it's your color, you get a point. But only vertically leaves the screen. Horizontally doesn't seem to count. Oh, so really that you're trying explains to hit, why my score wasn't going up. You're trying to hit upward or downward. Yeah, there we go. So that makes sense. So he's got almost he's got everything working except for the second paddle control. It and he kind of has it working, but not completely. Uh, oh, <laughs> I can kind of play. Like if I if I go around here, I wait for it to come back. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I mean, too much. I was trying to do it a little bit. I have to position myself again. Oh, I just missed You're it. You're winning right now anyway. So it was really... Oh, I passed it. I started playing a new game, which was that I'm just going to have mine spin and see if it, if it hits <laughs> it. And it does occasionally, but yours higher. sitting still seemed to, to hit it more often oh than God. mine moving. Uh, uh. Uh, which run, is run, a little run, weird run, run, because run, run. by is... moving, mine is oh. bigger than if it was sitting. Got it! You, you were already winning. Oh, I was already purple? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So really, what you want to do is change it to your color. That's it. Yep. That's yep. all. You just need to touch it yep. in any direction. Hey, Metal Lunar. The goal, is the goal to keep the ball in the center or away from the center? No. The goal is like, to keep it your color. Keep it yeah. your color by hitting it no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter how you hit it. Just hit it. Well, now it's going completely sideways, and there's no points. Yeah. It's not good. It's my <laughs> color. So I'm going to go get it from this side. Let's see. There we go. Oh. So. There we go. <laughs> it's a cool game. And a very unique take on Pong that I've never seen. Like a circular Pong. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. I, w I, I, I would it like it more if it was m like... Yeah, the controls. I get why it isn't. Because otherwise, to come... If once you get to here, yeah. In order to get here, you have to go all the way this way. But, yes, but it's, making just it, you could do this. It's with more satisfying. Then, really, yeah. It's more satisfying to to use these and have them be specific. Circular, yeah. And so I would just put a spot where it's like a neutral zone, like a wall or something at the bottom. I they didn't want to do that obviously because no. they had the theme going. But 
Yeah. From a usability perspective, I just really like the the position. I go here and it's here. And once you get used to knowing, then you could you could in theory just like go to that. Go spot. there once yeah. you were practiced. Yeah. And if both people are both people have that advantage, like I can see going accelerating left and accelerating right, and that makes it a little bit more challenging to to position it and to slow down and speed it up with the button. Let's get it purple again. <laughs> oh, it wrapped around. Oh, we got I'm a, winning. We got 99 points. I don't care what you say. I'm winning. No, I looped the score. No, uh, you have three <laughs> points and I have 76. And there's also no end to it. They didn't... Uh... Any idea why the paddle path does not take up more of the screen? Um, uh, vertically, it pretty much does, almost. Like. Well, no, there is a gap below, below it. I guess... I guess so you can see the, that you missed. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I see know. what you're saying. Yeah, you could you could definitely uh, you could stretch make it. it. You could make a bigger circle, yeah. Yeah, it's it's fine. Or you could move it down Wait. to be more centered, right? Can we, will we be able to see here? No. Where's the square? Uh, right it's... around there. So there's quite a gap in the bottom. Is it wider? It's still wider. It's, it's four it by three. Yes, yeah, slightly okay, yeah, yeah. wider than it yeah, is yeah. tall. So there's a lot of room at the bottom. So they could move it down. But anyway, that's enough time we've spent staring at a, <laughs> a game we can't play. But I thought... Oh, no, no, stop. Oh. I'm losing now. <laughs> Couldn't you have stopped it like a second sooner? <laughs> I would have been winning. You were winning. For <laughs> But that's okay that it didn't take very long to go through that one, because this next one's going to be a little longer. Now let me start that again. This box reminds me of the joystick box I tried to make, or did make. I seem Do you remember, remember you it making was like a one a long box. time ago. It was like this, what the was joystick was here, and the joystick worked, and yep. then there was a button over here. Yeah. And the button I had inside a popsicle stick. Yes. So that when you hit the button, it would hit the... Was it a lever? The popsicle yeah, stick? Yeah, it was a lever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was... Uh, what system was that for? Commodore. Oh, it was. It was a Commodore joystick. Well, so it works system. for this. Yeah. Dig it up. Bring it here. Oh, I definitely do not have that. <laughs> I would not say that the button was a huge success. Oh, yeah. I did not, uh, did not mention that. Uh, Nathan Strom praised your soldering skills. Oh. Because I didn't tell you. That's that's not the that's not my Atari. Yeah. That is Al Yaruso's Atari from Atari Age. Right, right. My Atari is in the hands of Nathan Strum, who is fixing it. Because the RGB mod, I, I just couldn't fix it. I just couldn't fix it. Yeah, I had no yeah. idea what was going wrong. Um, so I shipped it off to Nathan. And he tore it down to the basics, took out the RGB, and just got the Atari working. Which makes sense. That's how you do any kind of troubleshooting. Yeah. Take out all the extra cards and all yeah. the extra stuff. Does it boot? Um, and he got it working. And then he um, tried to get the Atari RGB board working. It wasn't working. It hmm. was it was dead. There was a bunch of issues. Huh. Um, so it wasn't power. It no. Looked, it just looked like power because it was giving a weird power rating. Yeah. It did. It but like really that's the like tricky power. thing is. I think there was some yeah. ground issues or uh, things that were like, I don't know. That's why I couldn't fix it. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, yeah. So I ordered another uh, RGB mod for him, and and he uh, put that in, and he made a big blog about it and every step right, of the yeah. step of the way. Um, so it was really good for anybody who wants to install a Atari twenty six hundred RGB mod, um, because he basically does it again, and he did it like really nicely um and he did something we should have done is at the points where the wires coming out go across metal he put tape uh, on them because it was it was starting to wear away at the wires uh, yeah because it was it was kind of compressed yeah 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 so that was really good and he also installed a uh, component mod in it as well so it was an extra output and you know that really weird combiner thing yeah that combined oh, like the audio the... and the video the audio came out separately yeah yeah on the little the switch or the connector thing yeah this yeah, yeah. weird extra connector it's totally not needed um 
but that's that's uh, so that you can use the same cables for several different types of systems or something, like, wasn't it? I think it was it, still weird. It was it, like this gigantic, weird. like chunky thing. Adapt. So, um, I think <laughs> so it was made so that if you wanted to run the audio separately to something else other than into your television, yeah, uh, you could. And this yeah. thing is like, or you could combine them without externally. doing that with your yeah without. Yeah. Like without running the video also through that other thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I mean, normally if you're gonna, often at least when yeah. you're going to run audio to something else, you're gonna punch it into some sort of like receiver, yeah. and then the receiver would split it out that way anyway. But but it's, but it's still but uh, it's a SCART end, and people don't and have is, SCART receivers. They yeah. just don't. I'm sure and it is just, frustrating yeah. to want to take off the sound and not be able to do it so I, it's yes. cool that they had it that way but it's so now still weird so now he's got also so he's now combined it into the rgb connector because there are pins for audio on that obviously because it goes into the system like that it just was broken out and then combined again um so he's put those wires into the proper spots in the rgb so now there's just one cable out of the atari that goes straight into the frame meister no adapters it's awesome that is awesome yeah. Plus, he split out the audio, so you have the option of having a separate audio. Um, uh, so you can split it out. Not not at the same time, but one or the other. And he's put a com uh, component, external like uh, component uh, adapter, so you can hook it up to a TV that doesn't have RGB, which most don't in North America. And internally, he has connected all of the wires through Molex connectors. So... You know how we had it, you take the top off and it's kind of still all connected. Because mm -hmm. um, everything kind of has to be wired in. And Which are Molex? Is that like a pin? Um, PC power connectors. You know those wide square clips oh, yeah, for yeah, power? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, it's it's awesome. Really, really, really well done. Congrats on your soldering, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming back really soon. So I'm really happy about that but in the meantime we've been using um al yuruso's s video which is one step down from rgb and is very it looks clean. really it looks very good yeah yeah, yeah. super yeah. super super clean yeah i was setting up uh i was setting up this a system to run because i have an rov that goes in the water and what have you it can go down to 100 meters it's pretty cool and so i'm i set Let's, it up to oh, yeah. um don't start the game yet because yeah. this is it's an involved game <laughs> Uh, and so I'm going to try streaming from the boat. Yep. Um, and you can, using OBS, you can set it up to X, to, um, to do an output that treats it like a fake video camera. You have to get right. a, um, a mod, but, um, yeah. And so you can treat, you can just stream on a regular chat. And you're using It isn't this, like but that? it's something like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, where it makes it into a webcam. It turns it into a webcam, so that takes the ROV output and yeah. puts it into the computer. And that's, yeah. that's similar to this, yeah. And then you use OBS, blah, blah, blah. And then you can output that as though it is a webcam. So if you're using, mm -hmm. like, a chat, like Hangouts or Discord or whatever, um, it treats it just as, as your a webcam. And so I'll, I'll test it that way. Um, and, and, and you're and doing so it over cellular? Or over what? cellular, yeah. So what I was thinking is that I could have remote, a remote host because people are not necessarily going to like a remote co-host for the, right for the expedition or what have you. So they would take your feed and rebroadcast that. That the, from Cause from you from a bandwidth it. perspective, that's the best way. Yeah. But from a hi Tari, like if it's it would be hard to train them to be able to do that. <laughs> If to have different people do that. So realistically, it'll probably be their chat feed being on the screen and it going out from mine. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how well that will work at all. Well, you'd have to use up your data to get their chat feed onto you and you have to combine them on your screen. Yeah. Which is very doable. It's still only about bandwidth and computer processing power. Yeah. So my cell phone will be handling... The, the data, the, yeah. the, the network, and then the computer will have to do the rest. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'll just have to stream alone. 
or with people <laughs> who are with me on the boat. Yeah. Anyways, blah, Cats. blah, 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 blah. Uh, today's 710. And Dark Mage, 8K. And this is a text adventure. Ah, so I don't yeah. need this. Yes, you do. Oh, wait, right. You need an input. <laughs> <laughs> There's no keyboard. Well, there is a keyboard for the 2600, but I don't have it, and it doesn't work with this game. Greg Troutman. So this is by Greg Troutman. who's on the screen. Uh, this was first posted April 12th, 1997. Am I going to get in trouble if I press the button? Uh, as long as we read everything on screen. Dark Mage by Greg Troutman. More. More. Dot, yes. dot, dot. Yeah, press it. As jester to King Roland the Insane, <laughs> you've known better days. More. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Banished. <laughs> Banished. Just because you had too much oh, to drink. Oh, come on. And, and lost the Black Rose of the Realm in a card game against Neonor the Dark Mage. Start. Dare we? Yes. You're on a hilltop. So I can uh, look for oh, south, north, north, east, west. Oh my! So do goodness. you want to be the player or do you want to be the navigator? I think player seems easier. <laughs> I sense that there are certain rules I will have to follow as a navigator. Yes. And I could get and in I trouble for not picky. doing them properly. I'll be very picky about <laughs> bad navigators. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, so, uh, this is po first posted April 12th, 1997, which is really early. Like that's early, early era of homebrews. Like, yeah, like super early. Uh, and this build is from, I don't know. It's lost to time. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe 2002, maybe 1997. It's an 8K F8 game. Other games he's made. Rescue, This Planet Sucks, and Dark Mage. And you can buy this game still. Uh, from the Atari Age store or the Packrat VG store. Huh. Um, his first post about it, it was uh, 1997, April 12th. It's a contest, and you've already a, and you're already a winner. Attached is a brand new game for your supercharger called Dark Mage. It's big and beefy and chock full of good stuff, other than sound. To play mm -hmm. it, you'll need the special access code. Blah 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 blah. So this was. Um, made for a cartridge called a supercharger mm. similar to this it um but it takes its input through audio um just like old con uh old pcs yeah um that had data set connectors actually they didn't make the crunchy noise they, they would kind of like that did they? My Trash 80 had some crunchy, some crunchy? noise in it. Oh, yeah. okay. Commodore had a TRS-80. A lot of the European computers did, uh, got their games all on cassette. Um, very slow. Very annoying. <laughs> um, but anyway. That's I remember that the way you uh, copied was you would just take your yeah. audio tape and Copy it dub it. Yeah. yeah. Do you could yeah. even do it at high speed if you felt lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there was all, you were always like ablating programs and bits and <laughs> as oh, you did yeah. it but you know um but that's how this operated you plugged the audio into um the supercharger and, uh, and atari games were released on cassette in like original classic atari games and there was like a line of eight or ten of them i was trying to remember what what was how much memory were we working with in 97 on on like on, you know, on PCs. In, it was like... It was... 32 megs, 64 megs. Yeah. Something like that. It was in around... It was like somewhere between 60, 16 and 48, something like Like that range where it was... Yeah. In the tens. Yeah. Not in the hundreds And yet. not in the ones. Yeah. It'll be a lot. Uh, in addition, anybody who plays and solves the game, sending me the super secret code displayed on the final screen, along with reports of any bugs other than the bit about being pressing reset during the later stages, will receive absolutely free the entire source code for the game. Um, as an added bonus, you can download the simplified 4K version. Um, but this is the 8K that we're playing. Um, and not the supercharger version. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is still the 8K. Um, so, we're going to map this out, and I'll read off in, in other information as we go. So you're on a hilltop. I'm just going to put this in the middle. And I'm going to label it hilltop. 
Captain Classic says, no, the modem audio is only for doing the handshake with the other system. Oh, okay, so it's only at the beginning then. Yeah, because with the modem, after the handshake's done, it usually silences it, mm -hmm. and we don't hear the data, because who wants to hear the data while you're on a BBS for half an hour? Yeah. Yeah. With okay. the Trash 80, you heard all of it. Because <laughs> you want to know it's still working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're on a hilltop, and we can move or we're look. We're going to look. We're going to look. Wait, do we have limited movement points or anything? No, not okay. that I know of. So you see a great void to the west and trails leading in all other directions. Now... We're definitely going west. So you can... Let's see. You can go, take, give, use, talk, inventory. inventory. That's inventory. You're carrying... You're carrying. A hammer. Well, a that's, hammer. That's oh, a pretty okay. good tool. What else can we do here? Oh, We're going to want to go west to, go to the void. Again. Go look again. Really? Did you go where somewhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. You see a great you did. void. To, no. Oh, you looked. I didn't. Okay. You go. You see a great void to the west and trails leading in all other directions. So if we go west, do we die? Maybe. Thrust says I remember more advanced version of the game. Hmm, well, this is the 8K version. I don't know. Uh, Maybe there's more than one 8K version. It could be. Hmm. I tried the supercharger version. And it looked the same as this one. Maybe on the cartridge it's a bit more advanced. Like you put some more stuff in. But I don't own the cartridge. We'll see. And click go. Uh, nope. That'll go back to movement. Let's yep. see what else we can do. We went through them all. Take. take. Is there anything to take? No. Nope. Try it. Oh, okay. See, nothing worth taking. Okay. What else can we do? Give. give. No, I'm give not giving. Okay. Well, you have to give the hammer. You can't, can't give, give that. that. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Uh, use. use. So you use can a use hammer. a hammer. You can't use that. Okay. Uh, talk. talk. Hello, Hello world. world. <laughs> Which is a programming joke. Um, is that it? The inventory. Go. And go. Okay, so we're going to go. So we're going to go west where it we'll describes. Go west okay. And probably die. This is the edge of the world. You are not up to taking a leap of faith just yet. Okay. So this is I'm gonna call this edge of the world. So we're gonna go north then. From here? From where we are. From edge of the world? Okay. No, we are this edge of the world, we are still on hilltop. Oh. We did not go to the edge of the world. Oh you can't. No. Oh, okay. We're not up to that leap of faith just yet. It's oh, it. okay. So we can't actually go there. Uh okay. So we're gonna go north. Oh, found it, Lord of the Rings. He's thinking of a different game. You're in a clearing. Okay. Stupid You're in a clearing. A brook babbles by. <laughs> oh, those babbling brooks. What is it saying? Is it a clearing or is there a brook? Uh, both. I'm going to do clearing. Clearing with a brook. Okay, let's look. You glance down and notice a tiny fish oh. flopping about in fish. a shallow part of the brook. Oh. I'm going to take the fish. You scoop up the fish and put it in your <laughs> mouth. Pocket. Oh. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Nom. Hey, Pixel. Oh. Hi, have you been you visiting? see nothing special. Uh, use the fish. Talk to the fish. I guess the fish isn't there to talk to anymore. Uh, can you take anything else, like water? I guess you don't have anything to... No, like, oh. look says you see nothing special oh, now. Because okay. we took it's the gone. thing. The brook is gone. We took the fish, <laughs> the, brook the is... brooks, the pixels that built the brook were gobbled up. Did you hear us say fish and you were like, what? Fish? fish. I want a fish. I like fishes. Fish, I please. Fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> what did they, what was it called? The trout? What did he get? Out it was machine. a goldfish. No, I'm going to eat you little fishy. But when he was ordering from the machine in Red Oh, Red. yeah, yeah. Today's special is fish a la carte or something. Yeah, yeah. Fish. fish. <laughs> Today's special is fish a la carte. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go. <laughs> oh, it says ear. You don't put that fish in your Oh, ear. we could use it. We'll try. Yeah. We're going to go to give. No, we're going to use. A tiny, tiny fish. fish. You can't use that, oh, silly. This is in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Look, we can go north or go south north. or west or east. Uh, but not west? Oh, west, we can. We could go west, let's, but I imagine the void is still there. Let's try west. Oh, it's the edge so of the world. We can't go there. So 
That's what you like... should do is start over and draw <laughs> everything along here because west is nilla west epa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't, can't okay. go west. We're going to go and we'll go north again. I'll just put an X besides west. Okay, north. A wide river stands in your way. Oh. Perhaps if you had some fins. Okay. I do. We have a fish. We tried to use it, so we can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's try again. Sure. Use fish. Try the hammer. Nope. Smash that river. I don't okay. think that's going to okay. work. Yeah. Let's go uh, east. It's the only place left. Unless this is one of those games where you go north and then south and you're at a Let's different Let's try north. Place. Oh, okay. We tried that. That was the... But it doesn't say... That was the river. See. Yeah. But it doesn't say where it is. Oh, we... Oh, okay. So we actually didn't go anywhere. No. So put no. an X there. Uh, It says... It kind of hints oh, that you okay. can later. That you need fins. Draw fins. Or write fins. Okay. That's good. I see your point. Okay. So we will go east. Because uh, we've yeah. already been south. Yeah. Banks You're of in the great. banks of a great river. Still. Still. But in a different spot. A bridge crosses the river eastward. Paths head west and south. This is bank of river? <clears throat> bank of river. Yeah. The bank of river. You're on the banks of a great river. It's a great river. Perhaps we will encounter a... Bigger medium fish. river or <laughs> medium regular river. river that's right we, we're at the babbling brook and now the great river okay so looking what does that do a bridge crosses to the river eastward east. paths head west and south west goes back what south we haven't been um so uh, we could it's nothing that's to do really unless east can... what oh yeah no there's nothing to to do yeah. yep east yeah a nasty, a nasty troll. little troll appears. Where is your money? Oh, we don't have no money! So, we at the bridge, or did the troll block our path because we tried? It hasn't said. Let's try okay. luck. A bridge crosses the river. Yeah, so the, it's blocking our path across the bridge. Okay, so I'll put troll there. So, what did he say? I'm going to... Try it again? He said, where's your money? Oh, so we don't have any money to give. We're going to use a hammer. <laughs> Can't no. use that. Maybe he likes fish? We're going to talk to him. Okay. Grr. Grr. Not the talkative type. Uh, give him a tiny fish. Can't get that. No. He doesn't. He wants. He actually wants gold. So we can go try north just to see if there's any way, way to go. Okay. No. Okay. So blocked. So we're blocked north. Um, so and, and we could use fins there too. Yeah. So try south. I like that we can't go in just any direction at this point. Yeah. Some restriction of movement really helps. It it does. <laughs> I. It's not a popular opinion, but I kind of like being railroaded in games sometimes. <laughs> and, and giving you not like a huge expanse of a map, just like you have to solve something first. Yeah. Before you have this massive map to go around. And then you kind of get an idea of where you are and what's going on and then expand. Uh, adventuring in the map makes more sense then. Anyways, you are in the woods near an old house. Look. Searching the old house, you find nothing but a loaf of bread. That's I'm fine. Tick. I'm going to take loaf of bread. Good. And now there's nothing special. Uh, fuse? No, there's no. nothing. We're going to go. Okay. So, we shall head east. Okay. Because so far we've been unable to travel east. A wide river stands in your way, so uh, still river. So that's no good. Try south Fins now. would work. Oh, it says fins, damn it. Yeah. You're in a grassy knoll. Uh-oh. Uh oh duck. No, I think you're oh, safe yeah, that's in right. the grassy knoll. You're dangerous when you're on it. Grassy <laughs> knoll gives plus one, plus five bonus to attack. That's right. Okay. A snake shadows your progress. Is it hissing at you? I, I don't know. Is it? I'm going to take pretty... the snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a pretty smartly designed interface. Like, yeah, yeah. It's got everything you need. It's yeah, got yeah. all the info and what you can do. It's and the fact that you don't have to, the fact that 
it does limit it that you can't just type in anything you want. But also, again, it's nice to know what you can and can't the, do and not have to guess at weird random thousand things. thousand options. Yeah. It's like, oh, you didn't quite spell it correctly, so therefore you fail. And... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so... Again, we, those games have do have more... You can do more with them, but... Yeah. We have a fish, we have a hammer, we have bread... I think it just doesn't want us to go east or north. <laughs> uh, or try, west. Try the fish on the snake. I doubt that. All don't. right. Give give it a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> just a little tap. Can't give that. No. Try the hammer. No, that would be use. Well, maybe you could give Oh, hammer. that's right. It would be use. Oh, you could. Did, what did you try? Give or I use? I tried give, so we'll use a hammer. No. Can't use that. All right, so we're going to go. <laughs> okay. And we shall go. So we can't go that way because there's oh, a snake. Did you actually? Oh, so that's the snake direction? Yeah. Okay. I'll put snake. Do it better. You don't want to get in trouble for navigating poorly. No. From you. So we can go south. Oh, no. Too thick. Wow. Oh. Can't <laughs> put woods. You just write that it's the woods so we know why mm. we can't go there. Sure. So we have uh, so, to go north. <laughs> or, well, that would go back to where we were. You were in a woods near an old house. No, yeah. we've already been there. We're going to go west to go to the oh. hilltop. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Grassy I got you. Yeah, we have. Okay, west. we'll go west. Peaceful you are valley. in a peaceful valley. So I'm going to go north just to okay. confirm that we can. Okay. On a hilltop. Okay. Good. We're in a peaceful valley, and I'm going to look. An old hermit sits near a shack. Oh. Hello, old hermit. We shall talk to him. I believe that is the correct action to take with a hermit. Yes. Sigh. <laughs> Not much to say. Okay, how about we give him a hammer? Some bread. Oh, oh. I would have thought he would want the bread. Um, tiny fish? No. No. Um. All right, let's... Uh... Use the hammer on him. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the hammer. Oh, we need a map cam. There. Done. It's going to be blurry. A <laughs> blurry map. Wait, I'm just not covering your face very well. Oh, I bet I could do this. One sec. That's... Oh, there we go. That's kind of... Kind of works. So that's what we've got so far. Uh, we'll update you later. You know what works really good for um, for a camera for stuff. Not that you have a need for it much, but yeah. I did it. We did we did a twenty four hour board game night at the store. Right. And you know the lamps that have those arms, and you can get them for microphones and things oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got one of those. So yeah. I had the arm, and I took the lamp thing off. Yeah. And then I put my webcam on the bottom. Yeah. With elastics or what have you, and the arm, the point of the arm is you move it. But the thing that's at the end of it doesn't move. Yes. And yes. so we had a board game, and we just moved it to whatever, and zoomed in, because, like... Were you broadcasting it? Uh, we were doing the 24-hour game night. Yes. And uh, Gavin was in Ireland, because that's where he lives. <laughs> How inconvenient. <laughs> and so, couldn't yeah, you, we could just move it down to get it close to the area he needed to see, and it, it was super cool. shockingly effective. <laughs> it was so much... I thought I was going to be super clunky. Anyways. Sometimes simplicity yeah. is the best route. Yeah. I just strap it to something and have it move around. That's yeah. really good. So And like something yeah, like I, that. Like, you, like, if could, you did this, if if this was a thing you were doing all the time, you could actually. You don't need to see. The, there, you have a map cam. Let's, let's do map cam. Let's change this around. Ask down. and you might receive. That's right. You might also just get flack. You get sassy <laughs> feedback or what do you call it? It's uh, gonna be upside down. Back I don't talk. Know how it back talk? <laughs> sassy back talk is more <laughs> likely, but. <laughs> uh, uh, so look, we're still an old hermit sits near a shack. I don't know. In the peaceful to, valley. I'm gonna make this better. Um, you're gonna have to deal with that for you just. You can now. draw a line here, by the way. I did go there. Oh, up. Yes, you can okay. go back and forth between those two okay we're at the hermit still mm -hmm. okay he wants nothing to do with us he doesn't want to i strongly suspect anything, that west anything. 
is a edge of the world. Edge of the world. I'm going to try anyways. Yeah. This okay. is the edge of the world. Suck it. And so we are left with south. south. Okay. Nope. The woods are too thick that way. So now we have a puzzle. Now we have. I mean six areas. We have, in theory, we could have fins from the um, fish. That's where we got the fish, though. Pretty much. Take take the hermit as a traveling companion and give them to the snake. Give the hermit. <laughs> give the hermit. I can't see the cats now. There's no cats to be seen. <laughs> yeah, there are no cats. <laughs> um, but they're more likely to be here than over there anyway. Uh, did you go from hilltop to woods? We haven't tried that. We'll do that after. So I think the hermit's our best bet. So let's try everything. Uh, I thought we did. So take. Nothing taking. Yeah. Oh, I look and then we give. We tried. Oh, we give him a hammer. No, we, I give, tried to give him everything else already. Yeah. And. Use. Use a uh, hammer. No. Okay. <laughs> Use some bread. No. No. And you gave him all these things? Yeah. Use the tiny fish. No. No. Okay, so he... And is that all the options? Take, give, use, talk, talk which we already tried. Sigh. Okay, so dead end. Inventory. We can look at the things that we are unable to sure. use. A hammer, some bread, a tiny fish. It's tiny fish! <laughs> tiny, tiny fish. I'm sure the woods are not that stupid. <laughs> Did I say the woods are stupid? <laughs> stupid woods. <laughs> the game might not be in Euclidean space. Uh, you have to use the fish somewhere. We we we. What is that noise? It's like birds. We uh, that sounds right that we have to use the fish. Yeah. So let's um, go where. Uh, let's go back to the beginning because now we've got more things. Let's go to the clearing. We're on a hilltop. Clearing. Okay. North. Oh, well, probably this won't be anything. Okay. And look. Uh, look. See nothing special. Now, this is a place where we needed fins to go north. Yeah. So, let's try and use everything. Red. Hammer. It's on a fish. Uh, Thrust says you have to use the fish somewhere. Hmm, I thought uh, we did. Unless it's a red herring. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, zing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we tried to use everything. Giving something to the... the... Sure, let's try giving so we don't... a tiny fish. I mean, this is where we got the tiny fish. Yeah. Okay. It would be weird if you used it where you found it. Also, yeah. we did try it yeah. there to get the fins. Okay, so we're going to go east. Yep. This is where the troll is. We're going to look. Okay, so um, we're so going to try going further east at Nasty Troll. Where's your money? So let's we go give, give him bread. Which give we him hadn't tried before. Fish. Tiny fish. Give him. Give him our hammer, like idiots. <laughs> Give the weapon we have, the only weapon we have. Wait, did we try take? Oh, maybe not. No. So, you know, well, nothing worth taking. Nothing worth <laughs> risking taking. Roll. Yes. No joke. Fish is it. Fish is it. Okay. Well, we tried. Did you try using and giving the fish on the troll? I tried giving. Let's try using. Okay. Okay. So we want to go south. Go east. And we want to go south to the snake. Well, we, do we try to use the fish here? <laughs> In the woods? No, we did not. <laughs> South. Okay. So this must be it. Giving or using giving or using the fish with the snake. But I I swear we tried I that. I swear, so try and use it. 
Yay! Oh, now you can put it in your ear. You put what the fish? Wait, in... I thought you were joking about the fish in the <laughs> ear because that's the that's the joke. That's the because that's the Get Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Babble Fish. Yeah. yeah. Um. So use <laughs> fish on the snake. Okay, good. Now you understand the hit snake's hissing. The snake blocks shadows your progress. Is it hissing at you? Oh, so, we. I don't think we... Did we try to go? So now we have to talk to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. We have to use talk. Return the roads. There's a secret passage to the east. Well, thanks. We were going there. But you blocked us. Narrow path. Yay, progress. Skirting a river. Narrow... Look. The path leads east, east and west. west. Woods to the south are impassable. Oh, I'm running out of room to the east. Try. A... So probably nothing to do here. No... I would think there's nothing to do. So go east. east. You're in some rolling hills. Oh, I've run out of room. A little dog follows you. A little dog. A little dog. Rolling hills. A little, little dog, dog follows you. So let's take a look. Yeah, that's the oh, little okay. dog is following you. Talk to the dog. You take the dog. Oh, can't take the dog. All right. But he's little. Okay. No. Talk to yeah. that dog. Arf, arf. arf. <laughs> <laughs> what would the dog want? Dog wants some bread? He wants a hammer. What's that we, want? Could, we could give... I'll try to give him... But as far as I can tell... It won't let you do anything. <gasps> oh my god. Devours it the wanted bread. the bread. You made a friend. That is not logical, but sort of it is because dogs will eat anything. It could have been you found Did you give the bread? A poop. Right? <laughs> I give the I okay. gave the bread. <laughs> the dog would be like, nom nom nom. Well not all dogs. Some dogs Some dogs, yeah. Some dogs like they like so, it. So now we've got a dog with us. Now, the dog works on the troll, or maybe the dog works on the, the dog follows hermit. I, I got a spoiler that only coin works on troll. It's not a huge surprise, but okay. The dog follows you. Okay, now we're going to go. So. Uh, nope. So, north is not good. Try south. Or oh, try east. I just went south. Oh, okay. You're in a narrow canyon with passages to the north and south. And I look at the southern exit, you see an axe-wielding ogre. So we won't be going south. Yeah. Wait, we could. We have an axe. Axe versus axe. We have a hammer. You're right. <laughs> but it but is a hammer. Still, Didn't um, say it was a big hammer or a small hammer. Could be one of I those. I feel big, as though huge in the hammers. other circumstances, we got no warning that something was there. Yes. Are we willing to die to test the hammer on the ogre? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay, sure. Use hammer. A microscopic space fleet whizzes by. Oh. You better keep your distance. Right, so, so you so tried to move? So I tried to go south. Okay. It said, ogre. Ogre that way. Ogre. Okay. <laughs> uh, use the hammer. Oh, so no, no east? Oh, no east. But that shouldn't surprise me Good. because it in fact said north and south <laughs> so i'm going north you're in some rolling try, hills try go east here just so i know that it's mm -hmm. thank god i ran bat. out of room here i'm like right on the edge <laughs> see that mm -hmm. <laughs> right on the edge that's funny that's good um so we'll go north uh can't go north from there i think we, we tried go... from the rolling hills Oh. We didn't try west from the narrow yeah, canyon. Yeah, a whole narrow camp that way. Look, so where go, little dog follows us. Go south. Okay. Uh, it said that there's north and south, so I can try, try west, west. anyway. Good. Steep cliff blocks your way. Good. Okay. So I've got an ogre bo pa so blocking go north. our path. Yeah, then west. 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 We're on a narrow path. Uh, west to the grassy knoll. Oh, let's knoll. just confirm wide river. So there's a river here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't try that. Okay. 
Oh, it said fins? Yeah. Okay. I want a grassy knoll. So what do we have? We have a troll. Uh, Here we do? No. No, but troll's, way up, troll's there. up there. And we've got a dude here. We can maybe it's his yeah, lost dog. Yeah, maybe he's uh, looking for. Maybe he's not a hermit. He's just there. Okay, look, sits near a shack. Okay, is a dog our in our inventory? Uh, let's check. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, oh, we I can still have a him. tiny fish, but it's just in my ear now. <laughs> 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 they are obviously fans of the Infocom Hitcher's Gu Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide. Yes. Hammer axe skull is just high stakes rock, paper, scissors. Hint, the dog isn't following anymore. Oh. Oh. Well, it said, oh, weird. Did we have to do go back and talk to the dog then? Well, where are we? Peaceful Valley? Yeah. So we have to go east, east, east and see if the dog is still there. Look. Oh. The little dog follows you. Okay, talk to the dog. Uh, oh, what, what did it say? I had to take. Now I have oh. taken the dog. The little dog joins oh, me on your journey. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, it did say the little dog. dog follows us. So it, it should be following us. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to that hermit. Grumble, grumble, yes. grumble. I'm going to start by talking. He still oh. sighs. And I'm going to give... give the little dog. You give the little dog to the hermit. He is happy and offers you a gold coin. Give dog. So I'm going to click take. You accept the coin. Hooray! Apparently you have to... You have to do things. You, you, yep. you, it's it's not enough. automatic. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, okay, so fine. now we go... We can go uh, north. North, north. I want to try that passage yeah. there. And then east. Okay, good. Yeah. And now I'm... North. And there is... Troll. Where's your money? We go... We give... give a hammer. <laughs> a gold coin. Yay! Okay. Now... Give... Coin. Which crosses the river. Okay, so... Well, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it! There we go. <laughs> you are standing on a bridge. Did you go east? Yeah. Okay. Bridge. Okay. Look. I'm going to pretend that it isn't obvious. Oh. I'm going to pretend that it isn't obvious. But both those ways are no. Uh, north and well. south? Yeah. Okay. You are on the banks of a great river. I look. The bridge crosses the river westward. A small village wait, wait, lies wait, to the east. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you? You are on the bridge right now? No. You I'm here now. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the description of it? You are on the banks of a great river. Same. Oh, no. Okay. Well. Not a unique description. Bank of river. Boo. Okay. And look again. A bridge, bridge crosses crossed. the river westward. westward. Right. Small village lies to the east. No, I've run out of room. No. <laughs> okay, let's try north. Okay. Oh, Good. and... And south. I'm try south. Good. Woods are too thick. I'm just gonna draw I'm a little gonna arrow. Go east. You are in a poor village. It seems deserted. So is it poor or is it <laughs> <laughs> poor or deserted? How can you? I guess it looks poor. Yes, it is better than being on the bank of a crappy river. <laughs> <laughs> Meta Lunar Seven. Because a great river great is river. moving fast enough that you can't smell the crap in the river <laughs> washes if it away if there's enough crap in the river that you that it that it gets that name presumably the smell is strong enough to nobody would call a smelly river a great river <laughs> they yeah. call it a smelly river crappy a crappy, crappy river, river. <laughs> <laughs> a crappy river yeah seems deserted okay i'm gonna take no nothing to take well it is poor there's nothing to take uh hello world <laughs> I guess that's you talking to yourself because there's nobody to talk to. Yeah. Hello, world! 
Okay, so uh, I have one space to the north. <laughs> I'm gonna use the hammer. No. To fix the village. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try north. Okay. Okay. Nope. Which makes sense because that's like the river right along I'm there. I'm gonna try south. You are on the edge of a village. So that means you moved? Uh, yes. I think. You spot an old shed oh. and peek inside. Wait. There's oh a can God, of black paint on terrible. a shelf. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> this is wider than it is tall. I did it wrong. Okay. Black paint on shelf. Well. Well, obviously I'm going to take it. Yeah, the paint. I wonder if there are any things that you shouldn't take. <laughs> Probably not in this game. Okay. Um, South again? Just oh, I hope not. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go uh, west. Sure, yeah. Too thick? Okay. I'm going to go north, okay. and I'm going to try to go west, near the banks of a great river. Okay. Okay, That's so fine. we know that. It, yeah. it goes back properly. There are some games that you go west and you go east and it's like a totally different spot. It's like, okay, oh I'm God. in the village and I'm going to go. So I'm here. Yep. You're going to go. I'm going to go east. East. Oh. You're in the inventory. Yeah. Nope. Edge of the world. So we haven't gone east. You should do the a, edge of the village. You should do a special line. It's not just an X. It's the edge of the world. Everything yeah. to... But everything that way is going to be... Edge of world, edge of world, edge of world. Both on the west and the east, yes. I'm just saying, that's the edge of the world. You know that's the edge of the world. I didn't even have to test it. That's what <laughs> not I'm necessarily. This this village is one but more But this didn't say... Of... These don't say edge of the world. Oh, they don't? That's what I'm saying. This said uh, edge of the world. Oh, I see. Yeah. So there still could be more elsewhere past the ogre yeah. and east okay yeah 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 what are we gonna do with this black paint we're gonna throw it on the ogre because that's the only thing left in this whole map uh that is we justify the theft because it's empty the village is deserted it's nobody's coming back that's what oh. Carl G said. <laughs> right. I said because we have the strength and might of the hammer. Of we're stronger than everyone else here. <laughs> we have defeated everyone. Oh, everyone else in the existing area. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the main reason is that it's a pixel village. <laughs> it's not even a pixel village. It's a imaginary Pix image described by pixels. Pixel. But village? not literally described. Literally described by words that are <laughs> it's a pixel village that uh, pixel oh, that's a different one <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay so we've done everything in this area and gone everywhere so let's so we'll go back across the, the, the only bridge. thing left is the ogre unless we have fins which we don't what do we get paint paint all right you gotta throw the paint on the okay ogre. so we go looking at the map it appears certain things have to be done in a certain order well so far we have to get things and yeah What's too thick? Uh, where am I? Okay, you have to go so north, I go north, then west. Now I go west. West, west, west. It's smart to do it like this, where you can move, 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 and not have to go through a big menu. It keeps the moving at the top. You're in level. the woods near an old house. And then you go south. Why doesn't it say woods near an old house? Because that's too much. <laughs> and there actually is no house. I think if I was doing that job, the woods near an old house near would be consistent of <laughs> House. There we go. Yes, I'm happy now. <laughs> Grassy Knoll, east. On a narrow path skirting a river. East to the rolling hills. South to the narrow canyon. And now there is an ogre to the south. And we need to use the paint because it's the only item besides At the, the southern hammer. exit, you see an axe-wielding ogre. We're going to use the paint. Oh, no. maybe he wants paint? Maybe he needs to paint his house? I think. 
<laughs> that was it. I was gonna say like, and you are out of order. <laughs> Looking at the map, here's certain things have to be done in a certain certain order, and you're out of order. Well, I don't think so. Well, I just didn't. Uh, I drew it wrong. I didn't give enough room. On no, what are you saying? It's incom We can't complete it now because we did something we in the wrong order. Up? I don't think so. I don't think we could have done any of the things in a different order. Oh, that's true. Paint and a hammer. You're close to restoring the village to its former glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we. Well, Packrat sells this game. Wait. So he might know that we messed up. Oh, I believe. I believe. So we're still in the narrow canyon, or were you going somewhere else? Uh, yeah. Okay. We oh. got the paint in here. Yes, we did. So we're going so back to the village and try and try and use the paint. Uh, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Or the hammer. Yeah, I did try to use the hammer in oh. the village before. In the village or the house? No. Okay. Are they stuck? They are stuck. No! No! That's okay. You don't want to succeed on the first time. But I don't... I'm curious what we could have done in a different order. Yeah. And really, where was the mess up? Like, we couldn't get the coin without the dog. And we couldn't get the dog without the bread. bread and we couldn't get to the dog without the fish where did we get the bread from it was just laying around it was in the house so how can you even do this out of order oh no it suffers from sierra unwinnable game state <laughs> yeah that is it's that's very annoying and the fact it doesn't tell you yeah you can't win you don't know that you can't win that's that's the terrible terrible yeah, yeah. i'd rather die somehow yeah and then you go, die because you did something wrong. Yeah. The wrong thing is that you can't win now. Yeah. <laughs> if we it's okay. To, we we if, only we only have so much time, and there are four sure. games to play. But the, uh, the the next game is is not very big, hmm. if I remember correctly. Silhouette. There's not much to it. That's why. I'm oh just yeah. Going to yeah, dedicate okay, a bit gotcha. more time. I like. We don't know what we could have done differently. Like we could zip through this quite quickly and, and redo it. Yeah. Um, hint. <laughs> if you give us a hint, we'll replay it again. If you don't give us a hint, we won't play it again because <laughs> there will be no point because we'll probably mess it up again. Because I see no reason to do things differently. Do you? Like, I don't see a point where we did it wrong. Like, everything is almost in order. There might have been one thing we could have switched around. I mean, we moved towards the ogre, but I don't know how that would have screwed things up. Yeah, we went to the ogre. Maybe we went to the ogre first before doing all this. But what would that trigger? I'm not saying that's not it. I just don't. Yeah, I don't know why. I that don't know what we would have done that would have screwed it up. Maybe talk more. Well, he says we're in an unwinnable state now. So this, like talking at this point doesn't help. One hint. Yes. I don't recall getting stuck. I thought you could always backtrack unless you used something you shouldn't have. Well, everything we used was very, very needed. And, like, we needed to use the coin. We needed to use the bread for the dog. We needed to use give the dog to the person to get the coin. We needed to use the fish on the snake so we could get past the snake. We still have the fish. Yeah. So we can tell to still talk to the snake. Um... Well, the good news is you saw more of the map and drew it out, so you'll have more info in the next run through. Use the dog before giving it away. Oh, okay. Huh. On the ogre? Maybe? Okay. Oop. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. Speed run. <laughs> Speed run. Okay, where do you want me to go? Uh, we need to get the fish. So go north. Uh, and then uh, take. Okay, and then we need to go south. I'm on the hilltop now. Go uh, south, then east, 
and then use the fish. Now go east. Oh no, we need the bread. Where is the bread? Oh wait, no, we have to talk first. Yeah. Because we don't have the bread. The bread is here. Okay. So get bread. Okay. Take bread. bread. And then south, south. East, east. 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 And then give Look. bread. The dog follows you. Talk to the, or get the dog, take the dog. Give oh, bread. bread. Take dog. Take. So go south, the ogre. Then uh, this is the ogre, so use the dog, I guess, because they're saying use the dog. This is the only thing left to do in the game, as far as I can tell. You sick the dog on the ogre. He trembles in fear, and you call off the dog. Awesome. Huh. Okay, so now we go give the dog. So go north, or we can look. What? Wait, the ogre's still there. Okay, use the dog again. Now go south. What? <laughs> Use dog before giving it away. Use coin before giving it away. Oh. What? Hmm. So the We've dog used the dog. It. Dog didn't do anything. You it did something. It just had no effect. Okay. So doing something, it scared scared the ogre but it didn't and to get the coin we have to give the dog oh talk 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 to the ogre now talk oh, okay. talk please do not hurt me i'll swear i'll tell no one that you entered the southern badlands there we go okay you are in a barren wasteland oh you went south You see dead trees and sharp rocks. Did you hear something? <laughs> yes, I did. What mm. was it? Not yeah. telling. <laughs> uh, the... Hmm. So there's nothing here. Just something, some weird little thing. Okay. Um, we have west, south, or east. I'm going to go east. But first... Go, go. I'm going to go, go. Did that do anything? Uh, oh, is this the twisty maze of all little passages all look the same? Oh, no. Steep cliff blocks your way. So did you not go east or did I you go east? I don't have a way of knowing. Hmm. Try go north. See if we go back to the narrow canyon. Oh, so you did go east. Jesus Christ, this is a mess. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to go blue. No, you really only need one box. See? It only went one, and then there was the edge of the world. Okay. Barren. Wasteland. And you went east, and it's another barren wasteland. And this is nothing, and you can't go north. <laughs> try, uh, you didn't go back west, did you? You're still in the same spot. Okay, mm -hmm. try south. Oh, nope. Okay, well, that's a dead end then. Uh, so go, uh, west. Did then. I try north? Oh, we did try north. Yeah. And now just... South? Just, yeah. Steep no. cliff blocks your way. Okay, west. Oh, barren another barren land. wasteland. South. Wait, wait, wait! Oh. Wait. 
so you couldn't actually go, but it just gave you a different... Yeah. Okay. Try north. And it actually meant went that way? Okay. Seems to have... Go north again. Nope. nope. Okay. Try east. Oh, there is actually one there. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, it could. Okay, I'm going to try south now. Yep. Good. Try north. Oh. See, I feel like this is where we were. Hmm. Like you went back to there somehow. <laughs> okay, so we're in the narrow canyon. We know where we are. So go go south again. Okay. South. Okay, now go west. Uh, let me see if I can we, go. S we already tried south from here? E we did. Okay. Try it again. At Barren Wasteland. Okay. And then go north. Go oh, you yeah. can't go that way. Yeah. Oh. Obviously, tricked us. Okay, now go west again. Oh, field, yeah, of, white field of white flowers. That's where the paint comes in. Paint them all black. Yeah, I still need the paint. We also still need to know where we use the coin before we give it away. Yeah. An artist silently paints flowers. Ah, they would love black paint. Path heads east and west. Maybe you pay him. No, you can't. Because you can't get the, the paint before the coin. Oh, Oops. nobody cares. <laughs> nobody wants your works. Oh, I guess no. Uh, try south. Yeah, you could pay him before. You could try and offer money. Okay, so uh, no. South is north. Uh, no. I'm going to look. Yeah, okay. so we are still where we thought we were. Okay. Uh, and then north? Yep. North. No. no. Okay, now west. Oh, wow. Fast Keeps plane. going. All you can see are a pair of jackalopes arguing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this. Do you guys see the uh, jackrabbits fighting on the road video? I have seen videos like that. It may be the same video. <laughs> talk? Did we talk to the guy? He said it's not for sale, right? Is that when you talk to him? He said, uh, yeah, my art is not for sale. All but you here can see. we talk. Yep. But out. <laughs> so we can talk to animals now. <laughs> but out. Okay. Um, so, south. Uh, yep. Try south. Nope. Try north. Nope. Try west. Nope. nope. Yay, we're at a dead end. Okay. <laughs> we, we celebrate the dead end. it all in this. now. Okay. The whole thing, I so think. So I'm going to go east. Uh, east, east. East. North. 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 West. 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 Give the dog to the man. Because we've used the dog now. Give, but I like the dog. He's pretty awesome. Um, and now we have to take, take the, coin. the coin. because. <laughs> so let's go back to the field of flowers with the guy. Because... He said it's not for sale, so I think that's a hint of coin. I saw a hint here. You still need the paint. I Oh, definitely for the paint. But to get the paint, you have to oh. use the coin up. So I thought... Yeah, you no, might I see to, your point. Yeah. I see an all narrow path. Rolling hills. South, south. 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 West, west. 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 Give coin. No, we can't give. No. Use. 
Hughes coin? Yeah, because we have to use it before. Oh, okay. True. No, so I don't know. You tried on the rabbits. <laughs> James is on the right path for now. So try and give the coin. But if we give it, okay. I, I, uh, I know, it's dangerous. Uh, you can be talking to. Hmm. Oh. Take. <laughs> I think we tried that. Um, hmm. We tried everything with trying to use the hammer, give the hammer to this person. Use the hammer, smash up the painting. to paint <laughs> yeah. so, so you've tried everything use and give I believe so okay let's go to the rabbits then west and give them <laughs> give them use the coin oh <laughs> uh, funny it's very funny that is funny Okay, now we can Look. go back. No, no, we have to. Okay. Talk to them. Oh yeah. Thank you for because it things don't progress until you. Thank you yeah. for solving our little problem. Let us tell you of the northern trail out of the plains. Oh, so it opens up something. Interesting. Okay. Where are the plains? Uh, we are in the plains, so okay. northern trail, north. So that actually does work now. Right. The faint out. outline of the castle lies on the northern horizon. Oh. Hi. So I'm going to go uh, west, west and east. Yeah. Oh, no. Oops. Tiny fish, no. Okay, good. West. Nope. Nope. And east. Nope. Nope. Okay. Castle. North. Sandy Beach. Yes. Are you here to help me with the map? Hi. Oh, there's something to take. It's a shiny little... Oh, it's a penny. Must be your lucky day. It is our lucky day, isn't it, little man? Hi. How are you doing? Are you helping? Penny. Are you helping? Helping! Helping! Okay, so you got the penny, or you saw the penny? Helping. The cat says, meow. Rawr. It's a pixel! Where's my cat cam? Right here. <laughs> That's an excellent cat cam. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so get the penny. I already did. Oh, okay. That's why. And what is left here? To look? See, nothing left. Nothing. nothing okay. But so, to the north is the. So go west and east just to eliminate those. It's an ocean. <laughs> nope. And no. Lots of cliffs around here. Can we go north? Yep. You're at the castle gate. This is probably like the I'll last thing. Sands you watch. Do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so should we talk to him? Sure. Just to see what he wants. Go, go away. away. He wants us to go away. Yeah. I'm going to go south. Uh, Go west and east just to eliminate those again. Splash. Okay. Kitten. Cliff. Kitten. Yeah, can't go there. Kitten. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to backtrack. Come for the game, stay for the cats. <laughs> That's right. I own the entire Infocom library on Steam, but I haven't really gone back to them. Isn't that the whole point of Steam? It's to collect them all, but not play them. 
<laughs> should give you a percentage of games you own on steam i own five percent of the games on steam played one percent okay let's go all the way back okay south 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 oh you can hold it that's really good um east 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 east, east. north 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 uh west 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 um Give dog, if we haven't already. We did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And we talked to this guy? I don't know if we did. Sigh. Okay. Oh. We don't have the dog. Our dog isn't good enough, hey? <laughs> Just, he's sad again, even though he's got a dog. Okay. North, north. North, north. East. East. Yeah, the controls are really awesome, the way they set them up. Um, and then there's a troll here, and you have to give him a coin. Look, there's a troll. Give coin. Okay, east, east. East, east. 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 And south. Look. Okay. South. And there's Look. paint. Take. And then we go back. Yeah, this is the paint for the painter for sure. Go north. North. Then east, 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 or east. east. I went west. Oh, west. Sorry, west, west. Okay, west, west. On the bridge. And uh, one more. West. Then south, south. South, south. East, east. East, east. South, south. South, south. West, west. West, west. Okay. Okay. So now we give the paint. Give paint. The artist picks a white rose and paints it black for you. Oh. Give paint. Give coin to Pixel. <laughs> <laughs> Khalid has wares if you have a coin. <laughs> if you have coin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Almost there, Packrat says. Okay, so look. Okay, talk to him. Always have to talk afterwards. My works are not for sale. Give them a penny. We have a new coin now. Try the penny. All right. Pack rat, tell us quick if giving the penny away is bad. <laughs> use penny then, maybe. Uh, oh, right, give. Yeah. Try it. Can't give that. Try use. No. Okay. I think that's it. We'll come back. I'm sure the guard wants a black rose. So, west and then north. Your joystick is getting... Uh, catchy, by the way. It's, that's how it is, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just letting Gets you know crunchy. that it's not me. If you push it too far in one direction, it goes crunch. And then you sometimes can't push it in another direction. It's not you. Okay. Castle Gate. You're banished. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot we were that's banished. Right. We drank too much. Drank and we drank much. so much that we forgot how to get here. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so give the black rose. So we've already talked to him, right? Yeah. Oh, we didn't take the black rose. Oh my god. Okay, right. use That's the penny. Okay. South, 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 east. No, south. East. No, okay. South, east. Get. Pick up. Give, take. Yay. Okay. West, north, north, north. So the object of the game is to get a literal black rose. I thought it was a ship or a weapon named Black Rose. Well, it's not a literal black rose because it's a it's painting. painting. Yeah. <laughs> it's a painting of black rose? Was he painting a white rose? Or was he painting a white rose? Like, is it a picture of a white rose? Or is oh. it a white rose that he's painting? I don't know. I thought he was... That would be weird if he was painting, <laughs> l like, actually <laughs> applying paint to the flowers. <laughs> it's not what I would have expected. So give... Black rose? Why is there a question mark there? It's, like, dangerous. Well, obviously we have to give the black rose. Is it obvious? Isn't the rose for someone else? I would think so. Maybe use black rose? 
And like, they'll be like, see, I have a black rose. No, it's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not doing this again if it's wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guard accepts the painted rose and raises the gate. Okay, congrats. The king is fooled by the painted rose. <laughs> what? Ooh. You'd better get the real rose before you are discovered. End part one. Code JKWR. Jigwer. Write it down. Yay. Code. You then we can the get, white rose black. Yeah. Then we can get the source code. <laughs> if we can find the programmer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We did it. Completed. Give us our patch. <laughs> I took the code. <laughs> I took the code. Oh, you can still play? What does it look? Oh. Can you still, like, run around and stuff? Talk. Yeah. Hello, world. Oh. What's the hammer for? Where's the code? I tried to take the code, but it wouldn't let me. Try the hammer. I think you need to get scotch tape and scare a black cat across the tape to make a mustache. And then attach it to your face with maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I have to find all those things. Yes. Good sense. Uh, but you are best. it's best not to use maple syrup if you want the mustache to stick to your face. Because if you put maple syrup up there, you're obviously going to be able to like licking it off your face all day. And soon, your mustache will be gone. There's the map. I believe the code is so that you can send the code and they will send you the source code. Yes. Yeah. I it don't is. believe there's part, but it said part one. He's never made his part two, unfortunately. Oh. He's made two other games, but they're not like this. Ah. Yeah. There you go. So that's available at the Atari Age store or the Pack Rat Fiji store. If you would like to own a copy of a text adventure, which is a very unique thing. For the mm -hmm. 2600. Um, so we're going to put the camera back where it was. And I'm actually going to show you something interesting. Um, I there's promise. some experiments Ready. with text code that CDW and Spiceware were playing around with. That's good enough for now. Let's go to 710. I think I put it there. So yeah, I'm guessing that oh, no, I didn't. the rose, you guys were right, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't think the king would be fooled by a painting of a ro white rose painted black. <laughs> no. It's not on here. I do want to show you guys. Some text tests that were made there they are text display demos because they were uh, CDW and a bunch of other people let's see CDW CD-W and ESHU and Spiceware were playing around with um, displaying as much text on the screen as they could mm. and also doing different font heights as well and I thought that was really really cool so I want to show you a couple of them and they're all 32 across so the width is all the same that they did for all of these I think one of them might be 36 but um, Display demos. Oh, they're all 32. Spiceware. No, that one's it. But that's just other ones. Um, let's take a look at. I think it's this one. I just downloaded all these today. And he's showing Commodore that text. <laughs> Commodore colors. Yeah. So he's showing that you can do all of these letters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special symbols, and fill the screen with that much text. 
So this is a bit smaller font than the one that was in uh, Dark Mage. Yeah, yeah. But um, here is the basics for, here's the font pack and the information, the code on how to display it on the screen. So if more people wanted to do more adventure games, um, they could do more text adventure games. Like you have all the text up there and even options, multiple options on the screen, on the bottom, possibly. Because you could have like, look, go north, south, N, S, W, and change them to different colors or yeah. have a little dash beside the one you want to select or a star. Um, I think there were some flippable options on this one. Was it? <laughs> But there's a whole thread in yeah, the... you have to program uh, part two yourself, says That's, uh, Metal it's a, Lunar 7. It's, it's a do-it-yourself text it's adventure. Right. <laughs> Why else would you need the, the uh, source code? Yeah. <laughs> I think this does take up a lot of room, a lot of ROM. Um, but maybe not. I can't remember. How big is this? One second. Hi. Yeah. On, so this, is a, this is 32k. I don't know how much of it it uses up. <laughs> what are we watching? <laughs> Come on, buddy, up here. Oh, uh, Thrust says it's used by Pluscart. Um, which I still have to get going and do a, uh, a video on. This is the Pluscart. And I actually got two of these. <laughs> Two plus carts. Yeah, we don't need to watch that anymore. It's fun, but there we go. Um, these are plus carts. I don't know if I talked to you about these. Mm -hmm. um, th these have Wi-Fi in them and an interface for your Atari 2600 so that you can download games off of the internet, your own games or other people's, directly onto your Atari. And I believe you can also uh, do online play with people as well. So what I was going to do That's is funny. give you one. Um, not yet, but I will once I've got them working. <laughs> and um, but you don't. Ha I'd have to give you a twenty six hundred as well. Because it won't work in the Retron doesn't Retron, no. do this kind of stuff. Retron just reads Emulates simple it, yeah. cartridges yeah. and dumps it to the system yeah, yeah. it won't interact with cartridges um so it excludes a lot of them um but i've got a lot of 2600s so uh yeah so we will do that one day yeah, yeah. and like play it over the internet uh, you do it on like a wednesday or something like that yeah yeah or whatever, is, whatever um, day you're doing but i've yet to successfully 100 percent hook this up to my wi-fi um, but i now have a different router so it wasn't working on the old one, but hopefully it'll work on the new one. Uh, how has anyone else connected the 2600 to Wi-Fi? In general, like this is what it's for. Yeah, because yeah. you could uh, do all sorts of things then. Everything. Not necessarily. Web pages and. Efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly fast, I believe. I can't remember how fast it is, but it's fairly fast. Like. Well, it's fast enough that. The limiting like factor the, would be the 2600. Yeah, yeah. The processing power. Yeah. And, yeah. Or the process power in this, which also yeah. has a chip, I believe, as well. But I haven't dived into that yet. Okay. Mm. Now we're on to our third game. Well. It's going to be a short one. Already. James practicing his touch typing skills. Yeah, I'm that fast. I am not. Which is Silhouette. Load it up. Just need to go for a web browser for the 2600, yeah. Had router problems with the plus cart too. Oh, did you, Thomas? Okay. Did you get it working though? Because I tried like every type of setting. Everything is crazy. Oop. Oh, yeah. It comes out. Uh, this may have by Curtis F. Kaler. Go ahead, load it up. First posted sometime around 2007. This build is from April 19th. That was weird. I didn't press the button. But I had previously told it to load, I thought. 
All I did was move the joystick down, it came down, and I hadn't pressed the button yet. It's a very sensitive button. Oh, okay. So I you might have glanced it. I thought about it. The weight of my thoughts pressed it. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Good chat on your 26. Yeah, one. yeah. That would be the best yeah. one. Uh, be a bit tedious for input, but... I mean, uh, I was thinking, oh, it would be a weak point because someone could hack your 2600 and... <gasps> what and do what like there's, there's no webcam or speaker or, or sorry memory. microphone or anything or like, memory or they have a hard time stealing your your stuff i guess what they might be able to do is connect Attack the cart oh maybe they'd be able to connect to your um internal system yeah uh to your network if the if, if the, it's supported or not. If, yeah <laughs> uh-oh Oh, IP6 related IRS, if you remember correctly, switch to a different router. Well, I did too, so maybe it'll work. Um, it's a 4K game. It's the only game he's ever made. Um, <laughs> you can download this from Atari 2600 Land's Batari Basic website, or it's in the Hacks and Homebrews 1.2B ROM pack. Um, so load it up. It's fairly self explanatory. Press the button. Uh, it's going a direction. Yeah, shoot that guy. He's a bad guy. Up to the right. Okay. There you go. Don't shoot her. <laughs> she dead. <laughs> Don't shoot that guy. He's a policeman. <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> That's a bad guy. He dead. So the good guys are the policeman, the professor in the gray shirt. Is that a professor? That's a bad guy. A pro he's not a professor? No. <laughs> professor is a gray shirt. <laughs> Okay. And there's a young lady in a red shirt. Those are the good guys. Shoot everyone else. She's fine. <laughs> Silhouette puts you in the police academy. As you walk through a mock town, targets appear in windows. You must shoot the bad guys. I want to shoot. Hold your fire when the good guys appear. Silhouette uses the left joystick. When the game is started, the title screen is displayed. After the music is finished playing, press the fire button. The first set of buildings will scroll into view. A target will slide into one of the windows and flip forward. To aim, move the joystick to one of the orthogonal directions. Up left, up right, down left, down right. A square will appear in the center of the area where you're aiming. To fire, press the joystick button. If you aim and fire the bad guy, the target will flip forward. And the score will increase by an amount based on how quickly you fired. If you fire and miss the target, uh, fire and hit a, a good guy, or don't... That guy, professor? Uh, that's a bad guy. He did. It's a gray shirt as a professor. I don't okay. know if you've seen one. Yet. I just hadn't seen that guy before, and I didn't want to be chastised <laughs> for uh, murder. A buzzer will sound, and you will lose a life. So you've got, you've lost a couple, but you didn't know what you were doing at first. Uh, it was after, not as self-explanatory as you led me to believe. After every five targets, a song plays, and you move on to the next set of buildings. And the game progresses, the amount of time, and the targets are flipped forward decreases. Hogan's Alley, NES. Yeah, Gangster's Alley. Yeah. They can delete your score and keep you from getting a patch. Oh, that's him? That's Professor? Uh, yeah, don't shoot him. He's a good guy. I remember Gangster's Alley now, but you don't have a guy on the roof this time. Uh. Um, options. Um, restarts the game, displays the title screen. Reset, resets the game. Black and white pauses the game. Color resumes. Difficulty increases the time targets are flipped forward. Oh, difficulty. Difficulty switch? I guess A, B. Didn't really say. So you get a long time to shoot them. And there is a bit of a screen jump when you shoot them, unfortunately. But that's because that your field of view goes... <laughs> it's a kickback. It makes sense. It works into it. Around the laptop. <laughs> Thank you. Bad guy. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for the water. <laughs> I was kidding about that comment about deleting the score. Uh, who knows what they could hack into that cart? They don't eventually shoot you? If you take too long, but... They're giving you a lot of time. I'm guessing the amount of time they're giving you is the amount of time the good guys still will stay on the screen, too. Like, that's a long time. 
you to make up your money. Uh, the, you said the quicker you shoot, the, the more, uh, score more, you more get. points you get. Yeah. But that's a long time for you to sit around waiting. Sit around. Yeah, because the, the goal, I guess, is to get... I assumed it was going to get harder. Yeah. It does it? Uh, it says it does. Because if it doesn't, this game fails the <laughs> Darcy is doing all right at it challenge. <laughs> Which is to say, Darcy's doing all right on it, so therefore you failed. <laughs> Needs a score sound. Oh, it doesn't make a sound when you shoot them successfully. Later, D-Train. Bye, D-Train. I'm going to put it on the hard mode. Way too easy. They're coming out faster, but do they give you less time to shoot them? I think it's a better speed. Oh, it does give you a little bit less time to shoot them. Yeah, it's still plenty of time though. <laughs> it is. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's. But that's level one, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a better starting point. I mean, the other the other one's good for very very beginners or kids, kids level, teddy bear level, or as one European person said, put it Nutella mode. <laughs> Don't know where that came from or if it's a was in one of the games <laughs> called Nutella mode. Um, little tunes playing. Is Nathan on the chat? I forgot to ask him if he wired up uh, my system in stereo or in mono. I think he was in the chat. I don't know. He was earlier. Yeah, he was. Yeah, way earlier. But yeah, if you're still in the chat, um, did you wire up? my Atari to stereo or mono? Because now I'm very used to stereo. Because you don't get any points if you don't shoot anybody. <laughs> so they can, like, through can pure randomness, yeah, like you could get less points than somebody else playing because they just don't serve you up. Like, you should get rewarded for not shooting innocent people. I think so. Oh. Should you? Yeah. Because that's baseline, not shooting innocent people. <laughs> yeah, but it's a game. You don't it's get like points for, for shooting you. people either. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and real life, like, it's like... Yeah. You go to jail when you shoot people, unless you had to, to save your life or whatever. <laughs> yes. There's no points involved. <laughs> even, even then, in Canada, you still... I guess you get whatever's in their trial. wallet. <laughs> Monetary reward. That's right. <laughs> No! Oh, you aimed wrong. No, I didn't. I no? just the joystick was crunchy. And oh I didn't know. no! I blame the tools. <laughs> um, in this case, it's true. Well, I think you've mastered this game. I'm a master of this game. How long does it give you now? It hasn't. It's it hasn't noticeably changed. Yeah. Like a, enough time still. I think. Yeah, it should increase or decrease the length of time you have more than it is, if it is at all. Needs multiple enemies come out at once and very yes. See, that's another. That's what it definitely needs. Like one guy coming out and then another one at the top. Yeah. Like I don't know if those are made with um, players. I'm. I'm guessing they are. It's like double wide players or something. <clears throat> or quad players. Mm. Maybe even play field? No, it's not wide enough for play field. So it's just a line, then it flips. Um, but still, you would have enough for two players. Um, so, yeah, you could have two coming out at once. Or three, or even four coming out at once in this game. And that would make it way, way better. Way more interesting. It's too bad he didn't continue on. This is such an old game. I doubt. Like, he's not even on the 
Atari Age forum, so he doesn't know we're playing it. It's um, sometimes when I post, he needs a light gun. There is a light gun for the 2600. There is. It was put out for the Atari XEGS, but there was one game for the 2600 it worked on. And I think there's been one homebrew somebody has put out. I don't know, own a light gun, so I can't demonstrate that. Gave up. Too easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I'll play one, one round. Dead. No. <laughs> I'm watching you, Professor. Yeah, your aiming only goes when they're on the screen. It's not always active. But aiming is like no big deal because they move out so slowly that you have time to aim at everybody. And it's only decision the only decision if if it was Closer, I would have developed the strategy to go faster, but there was no real reason to, to do that. Yeah, I guess... In theory, you got more points, but I didn't see a huge point spread. No. I wasn't paying attention to that, though, to be... To be faster in this, you can, like, watch for where they're coming out, aim there, and then decide whether you press a button or not. Yeah, that's what I was saying, is, like, they come out slow enough that you... Aiming doesn't take any time, because you can pre-aim before they even show up. Yeah. Um, it's a good start to a game. It yep. needs more variation. It needs a ramp up of difficulty, I think. And the great suggestion of multiple coming out. Because then you're like, a bad guy and a good guy come out. And you're like, we well, have to aim for the bad guy. And there's no need to aim for the good guy. And if two come out, you go, bam, bam. Um, yeah, that would make it like really, really good game. And reload. Uh, yes. Down for reload or something. Um, like straight down. Like you have to know when to reload. Uh, like you bang, run bang, out bang, of, reload. Like you run out of bullets. I don't know, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Reload, that's optional. <laughs> that's such <laughs> optional, uh, variation. Hard to justify a new homebrew for a rare piece of hardware. It is. It's always the, like, oh, why program for this hardware that nobody has? Yep. And nobody can even test. Yeah. It's it's kind of like the Quadtari that um, is being developed for some champ games. Four jo like Two joysticks can go into one port, so you can have four joysticks right, at once. Right, right, yeah. But he's developing a bunch of games for it at the same time. But also those games can be played without it, too. So the best way to do it is make a game that can use the light gun, but you don't have to use the light gun. Like, have this move the... the, the I, I would argue the best way to do it is to m be the person that made the light gun <laughs> and make the games that are so good that yes. people will want them. Because, you don't, because if you're the person who makes the game for equipment, there's a disconnect, like... There's a reason if you make the equivalent. There's a reason to make the game, even if it, even if the game itself isn't super massively popular. If it yeah. builds reason for people to like get the gun, and then you reach yeah. a certain level, and then, then it becomes more, just regular. Yeah. And then more people will make games for, yeah. the, for that thing. Yeah, I mean that's the key is to have games that are so good. Yeah. That you will get the thing because that's, you bought a, whatever because because it had this option. That's, I think yeah. that's like the killer app. It's like I, I, there's probably a better name for it. It's like this is the reason to buy this, and then more things. It's like when a console comes out, and if you don't inc include a good game in the first set of games when the console comes out, it's done. It's dead in the water. People won't buy the console, therefore you're not going to get any money to develop more games. So you have to have the killer game or app if you have a device. So. This is Galaga. We're going for a high score. In is it Galagon? Galagon, sorry. Galagon? Uh, did I say Galaga? Galagon. Um, this is the demo version. Because he wants to make sure everybody can particip participate in the high score. And this loops around after level 8. Hmm. So it's the score when you're finished level 8. Or oh, That's cool. 
as high as you can get to. Okay, so you know I'm just going to win it on the first go. <laughs> yes. I'm going to get every guy. And this is one bullet at a time. Uh, right? I think it's three, two. Two bullets at a time. And when you hit something, one bullet comes back. So when they're like close like that, you go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I think the options are non... Fast. Um, so you get more points while shooting them in while they're flying. Oh, I was only joking about winning. <laughs> but you don't have to go for points. You can just play. Oh, I died. <laughs> Shocking no one. <laughs> um, oh, uh, that's good. We switched it to A because it has to be on A anyway. Oh. And you have to complete the first stage to get on the board. You're one guy away from that. You can do it. You almost did it. Yeah, no you're on the board. One? Is someone what? Is there's their capturing in Galaga? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How am I on the board? Isn't oh the board is infinite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is infinite. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, you always get a point for participating, even if you're at hundredth place. Um, you get captured, but you have to leave two of those uh, two Galagas at the top. So don't shoot one of them. Because if you leave only one of them... Uh, Strategy-wise, only kill while enemies are diving. Yes. Killer out. Yeah, but it's dangerous. There you go. And it's on the second loop. They come down, then they'll capture you. Or a second person comes down, so this guy should be doing it. Run! No, not into the bullet! He'll do it again, I think. Yeah, but I don't have any spare ships. Oh, don't you? My understanding oh, is that oh. that's a bad idea. Shoot them all! Kill them all. That is a very bad idea. It ends the game. This kills the crab. No! 8560! Somebody type that into the chat and put a D beside it. Darcy's going to do it. Oh, no. Focus your, your mousey. 8650? 8560. Oh, too slow. Dan ABC already did it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dan ABC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play now. Sorry, Pixel. You can come sit with me. I like you. Oh, is that implying something? No, no. It's just a statement <laughs> about me and how I feel. <laughs> Do you know what? We don't have any cat hair at our house anymore, so you just spread as much as you want around and I'll bring it home with me. Our food doesn't taste right without cat fur in it. Just kidding. It's, it's, Oops, I shouldn't have shot those guys. I can shoot these guys. And these guys. So you get more points for the Galagas if they come down with two guys. Ah. And that's how you lose. Oh. <sighs> Rage resets. Quitting early. Quitting early. Yep, if I... Uh... Oh, which ones? Oh, bees. That's my water, mister. I like yeah. you, but not, usually not, not enough to share my water with you. I usually don't go after water too much anymore. He, he was thinking about it. I want to say he didn't, but he was thinking about it. <laughs> Adam. Oh, hit one of the galaxies. Ah! Now I'm not going to get points. Maximum points for him. <laughs> I do want that. Makes the game easier. But it also gives you a lot of extra firepower, which you may not want to use. But you definitely want it for the challenge mode, so... I kind of do want it. You kind of do? Yes. <laughs> I kind of want it. Ah! That's exactly what I don't want to do. It does make it a different competition when the restriction is eight levels. Because then you... It is conceivable that you could win even if you didn't, if you don't maximize, if you last long enough. But yes. if you only have eight levels, then... 
it's a balancing act. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting. So you have to shoot some guys, but at certain times. Okay, now I just shoot them as long as they're in flight. That was very close. Uh, that was close. <laughs> And technically, you get quite a bit of points for shooting yourself. Oh my god, that was close. I shouldn't be shooting those guys. Sorry, Stupid. you get a lot of points for shooting your extra ship. Yeah, you, you get, get a thousand mistake? points. Oh. Ah! But not when they shoot no, it. No, not when they shoot it. <laughs> a thousand points is a lot. In, in the scheme of things, it's pretty good. So if you time it out to lose your ship at the right time, it's a good thing. I mean, right now, a thousand uh, points would be 10% of what you have. Yeah, it's a lot. I am aiming for, I think it's 56 is the highest. Um, but I have to get perfect on both of the bonus stages to even be bothering worth doing. Come on, give me my ship. No! Nope, nope, nope. I guess I can kill him. Ah, I hate that. Yep, 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 yep. Yay! You almost blew up your own ship with that second shot. It becomes immune. Oh. As soon as you hit the Galaga, thank God. That's cool. Because that's a bad, bad, bad thing if it didn't. Oops. I mean, it's the extra points are. That, that went through me. Yeah, you. I guess you're immune when the round ends. I. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, he was the last guy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you get another extra guy, so you can technically shoot, get sh shoot yourself again for an extra thousand points. What's the difference between Galaga and Galagon then? Uh, Galaga is by Namco, <laughs> and Galagon is by uh, John Shampoo. <laughs> that is the difference. Oh, is it uh, Galaxian it's... is the oh, one with Galax. one shot then? Uh, yeah, Galaxian is the predecessor to this game. Okay, that's, that's what I was mixing up. And it's very, very similar. But this has more action and diving and etc. Galagon sounds like... That's good points. You want to get those guys. Yeah. Galagon sounds like a detergent. No, but it sounds like... Ah! One, it sounds like one of the versions. Oh, no. To me. Um, GA... You got 36,000? What do you need? Uh, 56. Oh, but you don't have that many stages left? Not many. I have another bonus stage, which gives 10,000. Um, this is stage four, so I have four more stages. It's it's conceivable I can beat the top score. My top score is not that far off of it, actually. I'm a close second right Later, now. Later, Thomas. I guess he's probably gone now. <laughs> <laughs> he'll see your wave in the archive. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll rewatch it. <laughs> Come on, ship. Come on. Oh! Explode, oh, explodes. Yeah. Tanya and I made this uh, made this joystick. Put ah. it together. It's a DIY kit. Oh. Right. Come on. Come on. I want to shoot you up there. Uh, why aren't you coming down? Oh. oh, he's a bad ship. Why is he red? Why is he... Oh, maybe he's supposed to be red. Yeah, he's always red. No! No, I'm not going to get it. Because <laughs> now I don't have an extra ship for the challenge mode, which I think is the next stage or the sixth You don't stage. have any ships available to... Uh to get it either way. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. 
Uh, yeah, I don't have a, a ship to sacrifice. And the next le next score I need for um, for an extra ship is like a lot. It's like 75 or 80, I think. Ah. Yay! Well, it frees me up to shoot everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is, I guess, good. Don't have to. W no! Go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go into that. Usually it's a good thing, but not right now. Later, Cafe Man. See you, Cafe Man. Thanks for hanging out. 1600. I'm getting up there. I mean, I have a lot of levels to go. Oh and I can't tell Pack Rat's leaving, but if you are. <laughs> It's hard to tell. One person says bye, and then they all say bye to that person. Yeah, yeah. And you can't tell if they're leaving, too? Yeah. But usually not. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> no. Oops. No? <laughs> I'm on the board. That's all I need. 49480J. It's not, it's not a score that will get me to top or even beat my last one, I think. Let's see, what is the scores right now? Mine is 67,290, and the top is 68,830. Sorry, yours is 60 something? 67,290. So you're winning? No. Keebs is beating me by 1,600. Ah. So. But look at that score, add 10,000 to it, and add like a couple more levels. Oh, it's seven is the next one? But you have to hold stage eight, don't you? Didn't uh, you say? Yeah, stage eight. Yeah. Don't shoot those guys, cause you get more points. Shoot these guys. Uh, you get more points uh, when you hit the Galagon when they're flying with two of those guys. Oh, I see. If you hit the Galagon, there we go. See? 1600. Mm -hmm. But if you just hit the guys with them, you don't get those points. Makes the game playing a little bit more tedious and slower. Oh, yeah, I do want them. <laughs> I was like, kill, kill, kill. Ah! <laughs> See you, Carl G. Later, Carl G. They're like F Galagon. <laughs> we don't want to watch it. <laughs> We've seen it enough. <laughs> you don't want to see if I can get a top score? Well, they can hear about it. That's right. Hear about it later. Oh, got him. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be casualties. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. And I got the 1600 for it, too. That is awesome. Off to a good start. This is the first, yeah. yeah. Almost 10,000 in the first level is mighty fine, let's say. Yeah. Mighty, mighty fine. Stage two. All the bees. I guess I could hit all those guys once, but it's actually better I don't. Because then I can accidentally hit them. Oh my god, that was dumb. Put myself That's how I always feel when I die, even though I have no skills. <laughs> Oops. Ah! You got so excited about that first stage. The way I got, happens to me. The way I got my top score was just playing normally. Just playing. Just yeah. playing straight out. Because this puts you in so much harm, like playing uh, strategically, yeah. that you don't make it to the top score because you die yeah. doing all these really risky things. Yeah. So that may be my strategy the next game, if I don't make it, which I won't, because I'm still being strategic about it.
No! <laughs> <laughs> don't, yeah, there you go. Nice. And you still have two of those. Don't shoot that guy. Okay, no, whatever. Yeah, they, they have, like, like certain pairings. Oh, they won't they either it. have them or they don't. Oh, okay. yeah. They, they, they don't. won't join up. They have to be nearby each other. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on that that they all have, like all these guys will return to their spot, mm -hmm. and the Galagas have their own guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, pointless, I guess, doing this. Does you need the multiple to get them all? Yeah. Yeah, you need to shoot all of them to get the 10,000. I don't know what you get if you don't get them. 3,900, I guess. It's still a fine score. I'll keep going. Whoa. Uh, Captain Classic is asking, did Champ Games implement the Galaga no enemy shot bug? I don't think they did. What is that? It's a bug in the arcade game um, that if you... I think it's if you don't shoot anything for like a long, long time. Like, I don't know, 10 minutes on the first stage. Mm -hmm. um, eventually you become invincible. But I think you can only play up to a little... Up to a certain point, hmm. and then, and then it's point, pointless. Anyway. I don't know if I should continue this game. I have no extra lives. I will definitely not get the um, extra points on the. Uh, I could try for it. I'll keep going on the next bonus round because hmm. I don't have two ships. Playing it risky. me practice on my sharpshooting skills <laughs> when they fly down. And dodging skills. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop your... Well, never mind then. <laughs> Don't even write it down. Don't even write it down. Okay, I'm, done. I'm just going to play normally now gonna shoot everything not everything but you know you know what I mean Shoot him? Is he gonna go back? Try that. No, I won't get a chance. Yeah, and once you're in the little trap, you're invincible. Mm -hmm. But you can shoot while you're spinning around. But that's dangerous because you can shoot the guy too and stop the tractor beam. Ah. Uh -huh. So it's a bit dangerous. Oops. He's describing how you do it. Oh, uh, you Captain Classic says, Yes, two bottom left hornets left alive. Don't die for 15 minutes. They eventually stop shooting. Then let them fly down five, six more times. No more enemy shots. Oh, my God. Yeah. And can you play the game normally? Like, just the enemies will never, ever shoot? Doesn't say. Okay. Okay, capture my ship again. <laughs> Got hit. So stupid. I can't shoot one of those guys either. Six K would be hard to make up. Yeah. Hmm. No more enemy shots. Well, that makes the game easy, doesn't it? If nobody's shooting at you. I, I mean, guess they, they could still run into you. Yeah, it's kamikaze you, but and they do that. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be shooting around there. It's dangerous territory. 
If you shoot him from the top, does your ship not come back? He becomes an enemy and starts shooting you. Really? Oh my god. Yes. Um, and if you leave him as the last guy, um, actually, if you shoot everybody but him and you turn him against you, mm -hmm. uh, and you let him go off the screen, mm -hmm. he won't return back to the top and he'll appear in the sec next uh, wave. Oh. And uh, and you can try and capture him again. He won't be an, an enemy when he gets back to you. Huh. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Hooray for me. Halfway there. It's like it's hey. not 10,000 points. It's 20,000 points. Yeah, because you get the points for shooting them. Yeah. And you get the 10,000. Oh my god! <sighs> I'm have to play this one off stream. <laughs> Speaking of kamikaze, the hornets become kamikaze and worth 1,000 to 3,000 instead of 80 on later levels. Oh. That's good. Okay, stop playing strategically now. Yeah, I'm, well, I kind of was there, but I'll totally stop playing strategically completely. Like, I won't wait for them to dive down. I'm just going to clear them out. Clear them out as they come in. Clear them out as they sit at the top. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we don't want that. <laughs> That's too many. Too many. Plus, it makes games way shorter. <laughs> Rather than waiting for them to dive down. Oh my god. <laughs> so tedious. Oh my god. <laughs> playing it too close. Too close to the shots. No! No, 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 no! No! Okay, you go off the screen, I get to demonstrate. <laughs> I don't think he flies in. I think he appears after a while. Ooh, I don't think I can kill all those Galagas, actually. Because I think he has to be attached to one of the Galagas. There he oh, is. he does fly in. Oh no, did I mess it up again? Because he has no Galaga to attach to. Just try and shoot everything. It just won't come down. What if he'll come back on stage four? Shooting at me. How dare you! Traitor! <laughs> He's defected to the other side. <sighs> the challenge stage for one guy. No. No. Pointless. Pointless. <laughs> so pointless. So pointless. Remember to download PitCat. I already have. Later, Jamtex. Later. Yeah, it's interesting that um, when the trader came in, he came in with the uh, red. Yeah. One. It's not with the. Yeah, not with the Galagas. you think he would come in with the Galagas. Okay. When are you Galagas come in here? Ugh, dangerous area. Okay, now the next one. Okay. Friend, kind of.
Thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean it up. Gone. the same playing strategically and not just a little bit less like maybe a couple thousand less because you're not shooting things while they're um, flying in shooting them while they're static turns into scorpions. Yep. You get some bonus points for that, so that's worth doing and not killing that guy right away. Mm. 36. Pretty good. In theory, you have to get more points. I have to get more points on average? Because you're on, you're on five. Right. But... There's still 10,000 more on the, on the bonus level. Jesus Christ. And there's no Galagas. But it's not the bonus round yet, so it's okay. Oh! Nope. You gotta get them all to get that point? All yeah. in the first... Yeah, point. before they disappear off the screen. You did not miss a score. I did not miss a score. What does that mean? Stepped away, did I miss a score? Not a high score. You missed a score. A bad score. <laughs> but I need to get my bonus guy so I can um, my second ship in this wave so I can do well in the bonus round and have a chance to get because the bonus round is the next round yes size not in the middle Okay, next one. Come on down. You. Yep. Okay. Come on. I'm ready. Knock that bullet in there. Okay, all you go away. <laughs> <laughs> so, challenge stage. Let's see if I can... mm, it's the wrong set of people to aim for. Good. I already got it then. 69. You beat your last one. Yep. Top score! But I thought that. Is the top score 70? Or? No, 60 something. 67. Well, when I was saying that you need to get points quicker, I, <laughs> uh, I thought you needed 70 something. Oh. Well. I don't think so. I think it was 56. Oh, a couple extra. Maybe. Aliens. Oh, oh, no! Oh, he's still there. Oh, got it. Didn't know they looped around. 75, 8, 90. You're still alive. Nope. That, oh. You stopped there. 75, 8, 90, J! Woo! It is far from perfect. Like, very far from perfect what you could get. 
Like there's many more thousands by getting all the Galagas in a formation. Way, way more. And that is a good spot to end the show. Um, on a win. You always want to end on a win, don't you? There we go. So, awesome. 75, 890. So that'll put a good score on the board for um, people to try and top in the next three days because I think they have till the 13th mm -hmm. um, to try for uh, it's 2 p.m. Central Time, which is noon here. So we'll see how that Can goes. Can you play that with a... Uh... Retron? <laughs> with the paddle? With a paddle? Uh, no. Um, it wouldn't work anyways. Oh, who just... Ricardo Pim, thank you for subscribing. Yay! No, because it would be a very different type of input. Yeah, yeah, and it's not the type that we like. Yeah. It would be an absolute, like... Yeah. I mean, that would make the game very interesting. Yeah, you'd kill yourself by mistake. And <laughs> by you, I mean into... me. I would kill myself all the it, time. Yeah, you would definitely slam into things. Um, the paddles... The paddles are very tricky to program for on the 2600. You have to read the input of these paddles every single scan line on the screen hmm. because of how fast they... It's it's like a potentiometer inside mm -hmm. yep. and it's constantly changing. Like it's it's giving information very fast. It's, I well, it's res the resistance changes like it's analog. Yep. And it's like... So it's not like, it doesn't say at the end of the screen, I have moved from here to here. Yeah, it's not like a joystick with the, like, X, Y. Oh, or, yes. Not like that. That's it's, right. Yeah, it's it's sort of, it, it's, actually, maybe it's exactly, maybe I don't know how is. those are read. I don't know how those put it in. But because, this is very simple anyway. Because that could be like, the X, Y could be like, just two of them combined together. Yeah, what I mean is, I don't know if those ones use a, a resist, you know, I don't know. Or, or if it's like an absolute reading, like zero to 255 and zero to 255, something like that. Um, anyway, yeah, they're hard to program on the 2600 because you have to read them every single line and there's not much room. Yep. Uh, when you get the video on this tube, I'll show it on my stream on Sunday for the virtual VCS, VGS show. Excellent. I will be playing as well. Oh, very, very cool. Yeah, he is hosting a virtual um, video game summit. I didn't read a much about it, but Dan can type uh, addre an address there for people to check out what's uh, what's happening. I'm guessing that's the 13th is the Sunday. No, that's the 12th. So it's just before the contest ends. And I'm in the lead overall and in this game. So somebody has to beat me to get to dethrone me. So get out there and do it. Get some scores in for Galaga. Galaga on. It's very fun. Um, so some uh, the show's coming up. Uh, the next episode we're going to be playing and and getting rid of out of the out of the list all the football games for the twenty six hundred. <laughs> um, do you know anything about American football? Not much. Okay, I know nothing. <laughs> um, so Tanya's going to be with us on um she'll be the expert yep because she said she know she used to watch football and she uh knows a bit about football so i'm like okay you're doing all the football games next show all right. brush, brush up on your american football <laughs> um so we'll be playing blip football backyard football pitch and catch pro football 1770 and red versus blue it's an all football game oh boy i don't know what i'm in for but it'll all be done people can't complain i didn't play any of the football games on the 2600 um after that don't know um i may try and get this going um but then i'd have to get it back to you so i'd probably get this going yeah, yeah, yeah. actually i'll probably do two shows i'll get this going show what it does and then another show i'll give one Doing to it. you yeah, and yeah. then we'll do it remotely yeah cool um, on August, uh, August 14th, we have the developer spotlight with Daryl Spice Jr. Um, we'll be going through all of nope. his games. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then in September, we have another developer spotlight with John Shampo. Um, 
uh, with an unboxing of Zookeeper and also many, 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 many other surprises. Like crazy surprises. And there's another game coming up as well um, that is pretty awesome. And I, and I have in my possession the game. Um, but we can't talk about it yet. But I'm really looking forward to showing it off on the show. And I'll announce that when it's, uh, when it's possible to do that. Um, and did you know I did a developer spotlight? Um, had the developer on the laptop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it worked really, really well. It was lots of fun. And did it for three and a half hours. It's, it's Thomas Yanch. Nice. He has a lot of games that, he has, uh, <laughs> that he's made and participated in. So it took a long time to get through it. But I'm going for the heavy hitters first. Ones with the big catalog of games and have been programming for a long time. I think he had been doing it since 99. Nope. So, but uh, yeah, Daryl Spice Jr. is up next. On August 14th. So, um, let's see what else here. I think that's it. I'm just going to ask for people's... Oh, my... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my... Yeah. Can you can I see him? No. He was here. He's, he's like all over the table there. Yeah, he oh. was here, yeah. I'm getting my keyboard for my uh, Atari XEGS today. Hmm. It says it's coming. Let me just check on that again. Um, which allows me to play a lot more Atari 8-bit games. So I'm wondering if any, anybody out there has recommendations for a good shooter and a good platformer for the Atari XEGS or Atari 8-bit. Um, and another awesome, fun game that we can play in the show. And we'll do an 8-bit day. Uh, today by the end of the day. So, who knows. Sometime, but at least it's it's almost here. That's very, very excellent. Looking forward to that. Um, what is this? Brian sent me something. Oh, nothing to do with the show. Um, so, that is it for now. And, oh, also, we have now our schedule for the next little bit is kind of settled for at least July. It's going to be Erlen and Darcy, Tuesday, Friday. Tuesday at 11, Friday at noon, same time as today. Mm -hmm. uh, every second week. And then the other week is Tanya Tanya. And those are at 6 p.m., 6 p.m. So you can check the uh, Twitch schedule in the Atari Age forums. And then in August, It'll be back to Erlen, I think, every Tuesday at 11 a.m. And then on Fridays, it'll be switching back and forth between Tanya and Darcy. Yeah. Uh, and then Tanya's at 6 and Darcy's at noon. Gosh, I missed everything. <laughs> Stop working. <laughs> well, you can rewind in Twitch. It's all already up on Twitch. And then tomorrow it'll be on uh, YouTube. To watch the youtube's a little bit better quality because it's i don't know why processes it better hmm. it's not real time i guess maybe it's not like here's a bit here's a bit here's a bit it's like here's all the bits you watch them when you need to here's a buffer and your take when you put it on youtube you're putting it from the recording yeah so you don't have any of the streaming issues yeah there's whereas no... twitch is just taking what you actually streamed that's true and there could be stuff missing or lags or something. But yeah, yeah. on YouTube, it's all there for yeah. sure. You're not missing anything. Uh, James, were you mentioning a new game to show when uh, possible? Is it a Champs game game? Um, secret! It's a secret! It's not a Champs game I game. <laughs> Only I know what it is. Um, I, guess, I, guess, I guess you're allowed to say what it's not. Uh, 20 questions! <laughs> no, that's as far as we'll go with that. Um it's not a champs game game, but it is a uh, champs game game. It's, it's a very, 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 very awesome game. Um, I played it all, played all the levels already. <laughs> um, it's really cool and everybody's going to flip out over it. Um, but it's not a champs games game. Those are going to be saved for the champ games developer spotlight, the new champ games. Mm. Cool. like to know that there are others out there. Yes, there's lots of games. Lots of awesome 2600 games. Oh, I also didn't say I have started making my game. Oh, yeah. I think I'd maybe talk to you about it a little bit. You talked about the very, very beginning part. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got something um, going. Um, it's a screen. Nice. <laughs> with Playfield. 
Um, and I'm keeping track of it in the um, Zero Page Homebrew Club. Um, you can see the progression. I haven't told anybody what it is or shown any screenshots or anything. I'm just going to reveal it all at once. And when I reveal it, it's just going to be like the first iteration of it. It's not going to be like the full game. Yeah. But it's playable. You'll be able to die and you'll be able to progress. I won't have score, I don't think, at that point. But you'll be able to die and progress. So you'll, you'll be able to lose. You'll be able to lose. And you won't be able to win yet, but you'll be able to lose. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> the, the point of the game is not to lose. <laughs> but I, I've got it all mapped out. I'm pretty sure I know how to do all of the things that I have listed. Yep, first demo ROM. And I'll debut it. World debut on the show. <laughs> I have my own debut. Um, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, S. Ramirez, 2008. Ricardo Pim, Dan AVC. Uh, Al Nefer, um, Jam Tex, Captain Classic, Carl G, Packrat VG, uh, Cafe Man 2D, Thrust 26, uh, The D Train, Metal Lunar 7, Smitty B7800, Nathan Strum, there he is. Um, as I remember all these names. Which ones I haven't said. I think I've caught them all. Yep, that's all the way back. Scroll back. Next week's show is about football. Football, football, football. Tuesday, 11 a.m. <laughs> it's going to be torturous for me, and I'm going to be very confused. <laughs> very, very confused. So I hope that Arena Foot can be there. He is all about the football. And I hope everyone else can be there helping us figure out how to play football on the computer. <laughs> um, so join us then Tuesday, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And whatever it is. Uh... Oh, no, not 11. Sorry, it's not 11. It's the evening, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. GMT. So if you want to stay up. Yes, yeah, not 11 a.m. It's, it's Tanya. Tanya has to do it after work. And that's 6 p.m. Um, we used to have it on the weekend. It's su Sunday. And that was, we could do it anytime. So we did it at 11. So it's 6 p.m. Tuesday and Friday next week. But check the schedule. It's on there. So thanks for tuning in. And we will see you on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Bye-bye. And see Darcy in two weeks. Two weeks. Two oh, weeks. wait. That's four weeks. <gasps> two weeks? Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>